Oh shit. Let's oh, go back this to is even worse. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. oh God. Oh God. Oh God. So thankful for these streams. Chad and Wubs help with the butthole depression. Oh Thanks, my God. Oh God. I'm not away from two years. This community has gotten me so much. A great relationship, the inspiration to be better than I was yesterday, and a bunch of reasons not to associate with the subreddit or discord.south.com. Celebrate sub 10 for save up to 30% on new subs until October 1st of 45 months big guy listen i can't i don't want to say this too loud or they're gonna get me okay but i gotta say it <laughs> this is dumb never mind i don't want to do this bit never mind Okay, I don't have a lot of time to say it. I don't have a lot of apartment. I don't have a lot of time to say it. <laughs> this is not funny. When I saw this on TikTok, so here we are. Right, right. <clears throat> when we're when you're on a plane and it's it's moving, what do you call it? You're flying. You be flying. I'm flying here. I'm flying there. So when you're on a boat, are you swimming? Here, everyone's saying dumb. Look at the poll. 91% of, of you voted. You wanted it. I pulled the plug on the joke before I even said it. You don't get a beg for it and then go, boo. No, boo yourself. Sailing? I ain't seen a sail on a cruise ship, motherfucker. Okay? What do you mean sailing? I feel like sailing is reserved for Christopher Columbus. Boating? You don't say you're planing. Okay, hold on. A lot of you are dumb as fuck, dude. Okay, hold on. Let's go through this. Boating. You don't call it planing. Eh, wrong. Sailing. You don't call it winging. Eh, wrong. Floating? What the? F That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Floating? Shipping? Whoa. You don't call it planing. You guys are still. Ah! Think about it. Listen, the people voting five stars, you're simps. The people voting one stars, you're haters. The people voting three stars, you're 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 well mannered, and I appreciate you. It's you. Can, how, how is it not swimming though? I'm calling it airplaning now. Yeah, just airplaned in. Boats don't swim. Boats don't swim. Why not? Why not, you stupid bastard? Why not? Why isn't it possible? <laughs> Why don't boats swim? Why not? Does swimming require arms and legs? Someone in chat just said that. So, can somebody show this man a fucking trout, please? You need arms and legs to swim. Can somebody introduce this man to a to a to a salmon, please? Do cars run? I, I'll be right back. I can't do this. I can't do this. They do run. Cars do run. My car is running. 
I can't make it into work. My car's not running. Trout! Someone in chat just said, you know what? You're convincing me. Bro, I'm telling you, I was going to open stream with this to see where I went. I'm telling you, I cannot rationalize why it's wrong that it would be swimming. Swimming, 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 swimming. I need a minute. You know what's funnier than 24? Because I don't. Pee pee poo poo. Needed UTN what bless up. 11 months with the king of regards. Can I get a kiss? Maybe someday I'll get on the six year server. 42 months. My mom knows about you. And Jell Penchy. What's going on with Maldo okay. down there? I see people posting it's the definition of swimming in chat. First off, Explorationist, thank you for the five. A lot of subs came in pre stream. Guys, it's, it's real it's quick. Hold on. Real quick. It's Love September you, right now. Friday but can I tell you guys right now? September is like you, it's September. It, the shell of the man of what it used to be. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. Mm -hmm. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Why she... Had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say. I said something wrong now. I long for yesterday. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you. Yeah, it's sub. It's Friday, by the way. September has been gutted to like resubs and prime subs are twenty five percent off. Where, if I recall correctly subs in general and i believe even gifted maybe i'm misremembering from the glory days were 50 percent off during september what happened what ha dude i swear to god if, if twitch wasn't owned by amazon this would be under already there's no way they, they gotta be just not doing great behind the scenes yeah the belt's tightening it has to be you think it's greed or inflation bro inflate these nuts what does that even mean i don't even i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna be honest with you I don't even know what those words mean. Inflation? What's that have to do with my money? Probably nothing. Inflate this dick. Thank you, Gamer Sub. Appreciate you. Anonymous Gifter. Thank you for the five. So you know what? Here's the here's reality. Hey, if you're sub to my channel, get it for 25% off. But apparently, that's it. <laughs> what the fuck, September this dick? Come on. Summer's over. Change your background. Summer isn't fucking over, bro. Summer's not over, bro. It's $5.99 on your phone and $4.99 on iPad. iPad. What? Do not sub through Apple or mobile products. Do not ever sub through Apple or mobile products in general. Do not do that. Uh, summer is 100% over. Bro, if, my, if outside it's in the 90s, summer is not over. Do you hear me? I'm 23 months if outside, Can I get a if, it, if I'm sweating, Ooh. I'm in summer. If I'm not sweating, it's winter. I have two seasons in my brain. Okay, it's literally raining. Who the fuck are you? What, do you live on Camino? I don't care. Uh, Jesus. That's cold Hello, front Papa. for Texas. Can I get a smooch? What if you're fat? Then it, that's fair. That's fair. Sup, Dad, drunk on high it's long. not over 90 degrees. Oh my Full God. Are you guys discovering that we live in different places? Paper plate Who are you people? Money. Uh, oh my, did you guys see the paper plate meltdown on the subreddit? There's a dude, I think the post has almost no upvotes, but it has like 84 comments. There's a dude who posted about paper plates, and I want, I, I'm not going to rehash this, I just want everyone to know about it. There was a paper plate meltdown on the subreddit, right? I got off stream, I forgot about it. You know, I, you move on, you play Starfield, you have a great time with your life, right? There was a dude on the subreddit who made it his goal to let everyone know who uses paper plates that not only does he think you're lazy, but he doesn't like you. And the funny thing about it, the funny thing about it was he, in that thread, that man was replying to every comment. Just like, it was like schizo take shit. Like people be like, hey, yeah, I guess I'm lazy. And he goes, doesn't matter. Still fucking lazy. Don't care. <laughs> I was like, bro, it ain't that, bro, it ain't that serious. We're just, yeah, the plates, they're in my head. They're in my head! Dude was on a mission for who? For who? For what? Yeah, it's just, it's not that serious. It's, it's, it's a plate. Zero friends, lot of replies. 
Yeah, dude, you 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 never underestimate how much free time people have uh, who who are crazy. A, a, believe it or not, crazy people don't typically have obligations, and when they do, they ignore them. Never overestimate or underestimate whatever. Never underestimate how much free time like a Reddit schizo has. They'll be they'll be doing it at work if they have work. Uh, thank you, blissful someone, for the ten. I'm gonna be honest. I was really disappointed that September is not discounting normal subs. I guess this Twitch will never do that again. Someone said big. It's big ceramic. <laughs> True! Uh, Wubby, the plates, Mason, what do they mean? We're not talking about paper plates tonight. Um, thank you, though. Thank you for the five testicular torsion. I had a friend. Um, I guess I won't say his name in case this gets back to him. Uh, Kevin had a... His 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 testicle... Um, his name's not Kevin. Actually, I think... I'm not... Can I say who it is? Everyone knows this person. They're in chat. Whatever. You could lose your testicle over nothing is all I'm saying. Be very careful. I, I have a... I have this gif on my like it's like a video gif whatever on my desktop so i always hide my desktop is because i have so much weird porn shit i send to my friends like there's anyway there's one of this guy on a bed and his dick is up like half hard half soft it's up against his belly and he's naked and there's a naked girl with a baseball bat and she's just dong, 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 on his balls and i'll send it to friends randomly it's very much like a workplace harassment power thing that i do but anyway i see videos like that and I'm like, how is that guy's balls not getting destroyed? When I had a friend who woke up and his balls were so tangled, he had to get them removed. One of them removed. How can people survive stiletto, you know, uh, jumping on testicles? And sometimes you bend over too fast and your balls get tangled. It's called training. <laughs> I'm immune to blunt force trauma. Thank you. It's the sleeping in the jeans. This guy knows. Torsions are the worst thing in the world. So I hear. So I hear. It's a skill issue. Do you guys want to see it? They're fake balls. Let me. You know that gif. If you know the gif I'm talking about, post it on the subreddit. If you actually know. I don't think you know. I am really thirsty. Normally, I would have had three sips of my drink by now, but I wanted to make it live. We have it. I have the H3 drink. This is probably my most anticipated gamer subs flavor. It has finally arrived. I'm going to try it now because I will say... This and that, the, the apple pie one was probably my most anticipated. This is spicy margarita. How the fuck could a powdered supplement type drink taste good in spicy margarita? I still believe I hold the the, the best or at least S tier flavor. I'll, I'll agree that like Shia Lily's flavor is really good, right? You know, there's a few really good ones. Okay. Um, so I'm, I don't think it's going to beat it. Like, also, like, how do you do alcohol when there's no alcohol? 75 out of 100 is S tier? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Womp womp. Titty milk is goaded. Titty milk is great. I agree. I agree. I'm going to try to do this as non-biased as possible. Okay? As non-biased as possible, we're trying H3's flavor right now. And right out the gate, it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> You should use code Wubby, otherwise it will literally give you AIDS when you buy it. Like I said, not as non yours plus lemonade is S plus. Okay, can I can I give a take that you guys are gonna hate? I really this is such an opinion that I know when I share. Like you guys thought the paper plates one was bad. This is really bad. There was this kid the other day. I was driving to the gym and I saw a kid near like a residential area. Um and he had a little lemonade stand. Never seen a lemonade stand in my whole life. Like, I, I always thought it's just like a, a meme, right? It's not a real thing. Kid had a lemonade stand. Hot fucking day. Ice cold, fresh squeezed lemonade. And I hit him with my car. No, I'm kidding. I, um, I saw it. And as I drove by, I had this thought. I didn't share it with chat. Now I'm sharing it with you guys. I'm going to be brave. Um, we should be able to hit other people's children. No, I... <sighs> I think I might be one of like 10 people in this whole stream who will agree with me on this. I don't like lemonade. I don't like lemonade on a hot day when I'm parched. I don't like, I think lemonade is too much for me. It is not what I want when I, like it, the whole thing is ice cold lemonade on a hot day at the fair at the ball game i don't know what like at, that's why the kid's selling it on a hot day ice cold lemonade right 
the worst thing I could possibly imagine hitting my lips on a hot, you know, 102 degree day is ice cold lemonade that is ungod. Like I, I even saw on, on Reddit recently, fresh this girl making fresh lemonade and she took this scoop of sugar, <laughs> water, lemons. And I'm like, Ugh. it's the same. And I'm going to say this too. Maybe this is going to scare some of you off. The same way I feel about lemonade on a hot day is the same way I feel about like a Coke on a hot day. The last thing I want is a regular Coke on a hot day. It's just like, like, no, I'm sorry. I didn't want to drink dessert. I need something that's going to hydrate me. Sweet tea, better than lemonade. Again, I think Coke is better than lemonade, but just in general, I, I, Every time I get lemonade, people around me get lemonade. Oh, do you want a sip? Uh, you know, maybe, maybe I like lemonade now. I try it and I go, no, I, it's just, I don't know, man. I don't like lemonade. I will never willingly take one. I will never willingly buy one. Hit me with a Gatorade on a hot day. I'll take a Gatorade Zero. Unsweet tea is S tier. No, it's not. Unsweet tea tastes like... I agree uh, with you. Orange slices, though. Slap. Thank you. Now, what's really important? How's the floor gum doing? Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. First, I'm gonna before we continue this lemonade blasphemy, I would like to try the spicy marg. Here we go. Uh, is this an ad? Technically, but it's an ad where I'm going to berate the product if it deserves it. Okay, now first off, the first sip never tastes good. That smells like a like a marg. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And you know me. We did a whole tier list, and I was not afraid to be like, this dog shit, never buy it. How spicy is it? I'm going to be honest. This is going to be a crazy take. This would be S tier if it was spicier. This would be S tier. This tastes pretty fucking good. I also, I, I would say, okay, okay, okay. There's like, Canadian white girl spice tolerance, right? That's down here. That's like, oh my God, this steak is too peppery. I can't eat it. Send it back, right? That's Canadian white girl spice tolerance. Then there's average American spice tolerance, right? They like some spicy things, but just average, right? And then there's like my Mexican father, okay? He knows six words of English or like, I don't know, like the dudes whipping up the Himalayan cuisine that I get. There's these guys up here, right? They go, yeah, I like spicy food. And they, when I say they like spicy food, they want to drip and cry into their meal and they don't care, right? I am somewhere between average and that guy. I like spicy. I like it a lot, but I'm not a glutton for pain. I like reasonable spicy where I can still enjoy the other flavors of what I'm eating, right? So with that being said, this is barely spicy. And I think this would be absolutely S tier if they went for it. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that would work with a drink. I, I really don't. But I, I wish this, I can take. It's like the. It's like. It's like if they had a, a, a distant relationship with a jalapeno. That's what this tastes like. Like it's there. The, 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 the ghost of it is there, but it's not there. Add vodka. I, well, yeah, I'm sure you could add alcohol to this and be crazy. Is the subathon still going? It is, brother! Your subs count for 10 minutes right now, just you! <coughs> yeah, it's not that spicy. It's, it's, I'm pleasantly surprised. God, can I tell you guys something right now? I was so ready and thrilled to shit on this. Uh, I, I just, you know, you, any chance you get to be like, buy my product instead of theirs, any chance you get, I was ready to do it. You cough like an iPad kid. That is so, dude, did I ever tell you guys when I was at Applebee's years ago? Hold on. I just, that cough, I'm wheezy from drinking this now. Nobody look. Everybody just look at the donos. Look at the, whoa, wubby look, seven, whoa. Wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven. Months later, I finally have this account back after it was banned for making a joke about a young panda. <sighs> I've given 34 months worth of Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, and sometimes Mondays. You're allergic. To this you man. might die. I wouldn't have it any other way. If I, 
I'm a, this is dead, dead ass right here. If I die on camera, do an allergic reaction or something, do not end the stream. These are my final wishes. Do not end the stream. Still collect donos. I want my family to weaponize every bit of my body to make as much money as they possibly can. I don't care. I have no shame about it at all. I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, if I die, do fucking like, like plexiglass casket, $5 tickets uh, uh, for my, like, get as much as you can, bro. That's what I want. You know, make it make just, just monetize my death. Put like do a YouTube decomposition stream or something. Just set up a camera. Marionette Wubby Dono shit. That's crazy. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's me. Yeah, I'll be the new floor watermelon. Wubby seven, Wubby seven, Wubby seven. <sighs> That's really good. Sniffa sniffa. Love but it's you, you know what? Wubby. I'm just gonna say I'm a little. I'm a little. Weekend. Love you. If you're gonna call it Qua spicy Alan. marg, I'm gonna need a little bit more spice in there. Tier three. That if this had spice that I wanted, one, see, I want, you know what I want? I want Alex monster. to try this. If three Alex tries this, think for the three years. If Alex tries now. this, if Alex tries this and she goes, it's spicy, then you'll know I'm just wrong. Uh, we called pay money webby at 3 a.m. Scary challenge. That's the only thing I don't want. I don't want like J station YouTube idiots to fake call me at 3 a.m. That's right. That's where I draw the line. You can monetize my death. My family can monetize my death. But I don't want some bozo dipshit YouTuber calling me at 3 a.m. Also, one other thing too, okay? I'm doing the pen and Teller approach on this. If anybody claims they're talking to me when I'm dead, they're fucking lying. They're fucking lying, okay? Don't listen to them. Don't let any charlatan take your money, all right? Can we have some of your ashes mixed into a gamer sub flavor? Oh my God. That would go so hard. We could do Wubby's Ashes as a flavor, a one-time flavor. Oh my God, only like 200 of them made. They all get them auctioned. <gasps> would you guys drink me? That's weird. That's weird, but kind of cool. <sighs> nope. Okay, but as long as there's like... No more. What the fuck was that? I just shit and cam in my pants at the You'd same time. You'd be in time. my tummy. You'd be Fox. in my tummy. Would be pissing and shitting Still me. That's right. For the <clears throat> joke. There's not gonna be a second joke. Um, yeah, it's good though. Ooh, ooh, oh shit! I just got an offer on my Desert Hydra. Hold on, let me. <laughs> hey guys, give me a second. I'm uh, evidently I have other things going on here. What do you guys think? Factory new Desert Hydra, twenty seven hundred dollars. I'm gonna decline that. I'm gonna decline that. That's not. I don't know if that's the market right now, bro. I don't know. Was that my computer? That was mine. <clears throat> Dude, this guy just bought three fucking tubs of gamer subs. Bro, you lost your mind. Did you get CS2 access? We'll talk about it. Oh, he literally offered 2.7K. Is this guy watching stream? Is this a meme? Oh, no. Is it, is it a meme? It's for the meme? Hell no. These things are worth like 3,400, bro. Have you lost your mind? My knife is fucked in CS2. It's a Bowie fade. There's no tip pattern. That, yeah, CS2 is, bro. I had uh, so I have a lot of my inventory up for sale on um, on CS Float, just constantly up there for a, it's more than I paid, so I'd be happy to get that amount of money for you it. You know, Wubby's Ashes flavored is going to taste like bologna, cane sauce, a chipotle steak bow, and weed. Uh, and since CS2, this big rollout, I have been getting offers all day. People, the skins are moving right now with the new people trying to get ahead of like potential price increases. It's so funny. It's so interesting. Uh, check the subreddit right now. I'm going to check the subreddit. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to talk about. And I have uh, content to it. There. Oh, my God. That's the balls video. You actually found it. Oh, my God. That's the balls video. You're fucking weird, bro. How is it that I can describe a specific? Dude, this is weird that you have a frame of it. and You don't. Have... Okay. What's wrong with you? That's the one, though. That's not even the video. You posted a single frame of it. Man, it, this is a famous video. Define fame. You're the one that has it saved. Okay, but listen, 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 listen. I have all kinds of degenerate shit on my computer through the years that I've had the same, same, same uh, um, drives. I'll, I'll copy it all, just slap it on a new drive when I get a new computer if it's old. And a lot of that shit is you know, horrible things you send to your friends, right? If I d describe an, a, a video that is just random, how the fuck do you go? How, what do you even search? 
Like, what do you, are you just searching guy baseball bat balls? Wait, let me, maybe it's that easy. Guy gets balls hit with baseball bat. Porn? Do I add porn to the end of it? Because now it's just funny videos. Oh. Oh. Baseball bat to balls porn. Okay. I I'm drink up. your ashes. I drink them up. Oh, 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 God. Okay, no. So searching is not easily done. Chat, I stand by what I just said. Searching is not the easy solution for what I'm talking about here because I just searched it and I saw... I saw a lot. I saw a lot. I saw more than I wanted to see. Look at his glasses. Bro, look at my heart. I'm going to counter offer this guy. 3,400. Bro, you want that Desert Hydra? You got to work for it. I'm going to sneeze. Hey, sorry I'm late. I was watching Ghostbusters 2. Huh? How was it? A piece of Wubby died this day. You really can't find it. You really can't. I don't know how this person find it, found it. All right. Yeah. Okay. God tier movie. Is that the one with the guy in the, in the, in the, why is it pinned? I don't know. <sighs> there. Done. <laughs> Ghostbuster 2, the guy in the painting gave me nightmare. Oh, it's okay. After that sneeze, it's a little spicier now. After that sneeze, it's a little spicier now. <laughs> Do you get CS2 access? Yeah. His name is Vigo. That shit scared the fuck out of me. Ghost Busters 2 painting. Nah, dude. Even seeing it now, I'm an adult and I'm like, things don't scare me like they used to. It still triggers something in me. Look at this. I mean, this, why was like, it's kind of low quality. Maybe I can find a higher quality one. Is, are all these low quality? Whatever. This is the best you're going to get. Just, just squint. You know, the, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> How about the part where Ray is possessed? I don't even remember that. No, fuck all this, dude. PTSD triggers that. PTSD Wubby triggers? Yeah, exactly. Search ball busting with baseball bat? No, I'm okay. I have a six foot tall canvas of this. Fuck that, dude. <clears throat> all right, moving on. Is that not from Game of Thrones? I have a video pull up. Now we'll come back to it. We'll come. We'll do that. We'll do that later. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> I don't, no, no, no. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. You guys already said. Bleh. Okay. So yesterday was a really hard day for me, chat. Yesterday something happened that I haven't experienced since I was a fucking kid. BRB Wubby got a shit. Thank you, man. Yo, first time in stream. Yo, what's up, dude? It's all friendly here, bro. What's up? Yes, first time. Wub wub step. All right, bro. You got 60 seconds of sub or you're getting banned. You got 60 seconds of sub or you're getting banned, homie. He it's is that legal. simple. It's, th it's that simple. Why? 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 I've never seen it actually go down to the, the wire because somebody always gifts them. Christy Naps with a K. Christy Naps, thank you. Why? Well, let the, would you let the man, would you let him cook? It's over. That's it. Now it's over. You know, because you gifted it, that's, you know what? Let's give an hour time out. Okay, he'll think about it. He'll think about it for an hour. All right. Jesus Christ. Following since April, first time chatter. Bro, I hate talking in chats. Give me $100. Somebody just said, Ugh. Jesus, Wubby. <sighs> poor guy. Yeah, literally poor. Am I right? <laughs> See, here's the thing, right? If he's if he if he's in the right stream, this is what I'm gonna say. If he's in the right stream, that won't scare him off. It's First almost like hazing. From you, that had to see it in action. Thank you, thank you, bag on tux. I appreciate you. Uh, can we hear about the kid at Applebee's? Yes, we can. How much to snort H3's flavor? How much of it do I got to snort? I feel like this would be one of the more painful flavors to snort. How much to snort? What are, what are you offering? What do you got? How much do I have to snort? And how much are you can pay? 10 subs, Grumpy Hooter. Thank you. Just like a bump. I wouldn't know how much that is. What's a bump? Do I like hit the packaging and see how much falls out? What is a bump? I don't, I don't actually know how much that would be. Can someone explain that to me? 
What is that? Grumpy Hooter, do you know what a bump is? Use a tiny gold spoon. I don't even know what that is. A tiny oh that, that oh that spoon I got from I thought that was for tiny soup. I thought that was for my little tiny soup that you guys all know I enjoy. Jamin Juggernaut! I don't know. Your name just felt like it needed to be screamed. I shouldn't have screamed like that though. That's that shouldn't be reserved for six, you know? Um it's for caviar though, for real. Who the fuck uses a caviar spoon? You know what I think is cope? Anyone who enjoys caviar. Have y'all had caviar that wasn't immediately like, oh. Whose reaction to caviar has ever been, oh, mm, this is worth everything. Every time I've ever had caviar, I went, oh. Even the be even people who know caviar and they go, that's great caviar, I'll try it and I'll go, oh. No, it's not good, or it's nothing crazy. It's not bad. Big, huge stinker, bro. Thank you. Some caviar is poggers. Nub Nub! Isn't that the name of the... Oh, this might be bad. Isn't that the name of, like, the Asian alien in... Is he even Asian in Star Wars? Did I just say something really fucked up? You mean Ewoks? What the fuck? You're the- I did not mean Ewoks! What are you talking- Why would an Ewok be Asian? Hey, fuck buck to Denny's. Oh, you just reminded me, the little kid at, uh, at Applebee's. By the way, I used- Applebee's fucking sucks. I don't know how they're still open. I don't know how they're in business. I've talked about this before, but I was- I think it was Applebee's that I was at. They had those little, like, iPad bullshit things. This is a short story. I've told you before. It's not even that interesting. I was at dinner one time and this little kid who was unsupervised and I'm not going to describe the kid because no matter what I say, you guys will find a way to make it fucked up. So this kid was an entity. Okay. He was every color of the rainbow. He was every race of the rainbow. He was nothing. He was everything. He was invisible. He was tall. He was short. He was see-through. Okay. He was everything. He was a cloud of dust and air and dreams and hope. Okay. He was a gay man in a tiny suit with little baby arms. All right, Christy Naps, thank you for the five. Appreciate you, you're the one who gifted to that guy. Anyway, I'm sitting there having my Applebee's, regretting it, horrible, want to die, it's terrible. Applebee's is awful. Literally, we, I could have not gone down to eat in, in, th in three weeks, and, and, and it's, the, it's the 21st day, and my friends are all going out, and they want to go somewhere, and I'm going to have so much FOMO, I'm staying home still. We're going to make it four weeks now. I don't care, right? I'm not going to Applebee's. Anyway, I'm there. Having a good time? Not really. This kid comes up and starts fucking with the iPad. And when somebody else's kids do, do things to you, I never know what to do. I was at Korean barbecue literally the other day, and this kid was sitting next to me and just started kicking my leg. I, I, I didn't tell you guys this. He started kicking my leg, and his mom goes, "Oh, you can, hey, if he's doing something, you can tell him to stop." And I'm like, "Oh, okay. Could you stop? Could you not kick my legs?" And then she's like, get, she like smacks at him, like gets mad at him, tells him to go to the other side of the table. And I'm like, am I, what, what do I do here? Cause people get weird with kids. People get like, don't tell my kid what to do. Even if my kid is one doing something wrong. Anyway, at Applebee's kid starts fucking with my little iPad thing. We don't know what to do. This was years ago. I don't know what to do. I'm awkward. I'm just kind of sitting there like, oh, hi. I can't see what he's doing. Cause he's on the edge of the table. Just fucking with him. I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, he's there for a while. Goes back to his parents, comes back running over here, keeps doing shit. We get the bill, and I get charged on the bill for, like, the fucking iPad gaming service. I don't remember how much it was, but the kid played, like, 13 fucking games on there. <laughs> Two and a half hours of Flappy Bird. It was, it was like, and I remember at the time, this was, this was in when a... When a seven or eight dollar addition to a bill comes that you didn't pay for, this was at a time where that would make me fume. I was like, what the fuck? You're asking why did I let him? Listen, if I had even spoken to that child, I'd be in violation of my parole. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, I just, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do around someone else's kids. <laughs> I don't, what do you want me to do? Fair and true. I just, the reality is, is that, that, that if your parents aren't saying something already and they're aware of it, what more can I do? Do I go up to the parents and be like, hey, can you tell your son to stop? They're going to be like, 
I, I feel, I don't know how to word this. I feel like if the parents know what the kid's doing already, are aware of it, and they aren't stopping it, I'm now going to have to involve myself in a way that's just, it's too much work. I just talked to the, to the my server. I was like, I didn't do this. This was fucking kid. He's like, oh, I'll take it off for you. Chat is so unhinged, I'm cackling. Oh, chat wants me to murder this child. I've been glancing over at you guys. People in this chat are like, why didn't you just kill him? <laughs> why didn't you kill him and eat him? <laughs> Fuck his dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kidnap his father. Take over his life. Raise the son. Raise his son to resent you. Okay, then abandon him. Abandon him. Then one day, that kid will come back to Applebee's. I'll be his server. Okay, and when I hand him the bill, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> so I crumbled the kid. What am I talking about? Are we are we tie his shoelaces together? Let's move on. Can we move on? This is weird. <laughs> I've abandoned my boy. Are we doing anything tonight? Yes, we are. I promise. But I need to announce this. More importantly, this Sunday we are doing something. I talked to my dad. My dad has agreed to come on stream to make a return on this stream this Sunday. This Sunday, my father and I are going to have some sort of... What's even crazier is that restaurants felt the need to add tablets with games on it for the ADHD ass America. We are regarded... Yep. I... Okay. I don't... I think you're... I think you're just stupid. I don't think they added this to America. I think that tablets... Those things were added so people could pay. And then I, I'm sure that... Uh, uh, those stupid fucking games are like, well, why not, right? Because people, because kids will do it. Children will do it. And then the parents are stuck with the bill. Um, it's easy. Yeah, it's, it's literally just a way to get kids to spend money. Uh, you look very duck-like today. I don't like that. <clears throat> the chicken toucher's coming over. Thank you. That is so true. My dad's going to be on stream this Sunday. We're going to be doing, I don't know what we want to do. Do we want to do a cook-off, like a grill-off? Do we want to do a bake-off, like my dad and I have to make Middle Eastern desserts? I don't know. I don't know, but either way, you know when my dad comes on stream, you guys have a, a good time with him. Excited for him to be here. I feel like my dad hasn't been on in a while, which means um, uh, it's overdue. It's overdue. I never want to oversat. Look at how many things you guys are buying with gamer subs. By the way, the this this new thing, what is it? Where is she? I'm drinking a new one, too. I don't know if you can see. Come on, focus, bitch. There you go. I don't know if this one's available yet. There's a bunch of new shit on there. Um, no, we're not doing a tent stream with my dad. So that's this Sunday. And this is very important. Sunday could get canceled last minute. Let me explain why. Let me explain why. It's not my fault. My dad has an obligation. My dad is working today, so he couldn't come on stream today. My dad on Sunday is going to his mom's birthday, my grandmother's birthday. I was supposed to go to it, but I said to my dad, I said, I can't cancel stream because I already took a week off. Like, I'm not going to miss it. He's like, okay. But uh, the the birthday is uh, near LA and he should get done with it by three the latest. And I said, dad, can you be back here at my house by six? And he said, unless, yes, he can. Technically, it's not that far, but... We will see. So if six o'clock comes, I'll be live. We'll be sitting here. I'll probably go live at 5.30 to yap. I'll be sitting here. And if my dad doesn't show up, I will have nothing. <laughs> so uh, we will see. We will see. I don't I don't want to go see grandma. Bro, Mima will be alive forever. Okay, grandma literally is, is cannot die. She cannot die. So, uh, and clip this, clip this. My grandmother will never die, and missing this birthday, which will not be one of her last, is so worth it to stream. <laughs> hey, so, Radar, yeah. any chance your brother, a.k.a. my cuter son, would ever want to come on stream? Um... Would my brother want to come on stream? He probably would, but I, there are family members I just don't want to bring on stream. Here's the reality. My dad's personality type is so perfect for this stream. He is this lovable, you know, piece of bread. He's just, he's this, he, he's so personable and gets along and he's just, my dad literally, I'm going to, oh, my dad made such a racist joke to me today that he was going to make on stream. And I said, dad run that by like you're just my dad is such so comfortable throwing around middle what are we doing today alex's child what alex's child anyway 
and he just chat likes him. He's he's offensive in the right way, yada yada. He's not like he'll give a political take and he'll be like, oh, Wubby's dad. It's just he's a goofball, right? Whereas my brother, who I also love, for raw his chicken own dodgeball, reasons, one volt, one son. <laughs> who I also love, my brother, right, and everything. But bringing him on stream. I don't know. I just don't know if Ch I think chat will be very mean and I think he'll probably at some point say something and not understand why it's not working with chat. And it's listen, you guys are awful. And if you don't know how to talk to you guys, you will turn very quickly. And I don't think my brother half of chat will that. be at your grandma's birthday. Something something fingerings joke, whatever you get it. No, I'm not going to have chat on my grandma's fucking birthday, dude. My, oh my God, my dad sent me a photo of my grandpa, the one who's married to my grandma. If you guys don't know how like families work, um, my, my, gra my dad sent me this photo of my grandpa. Let me show you this. My grandpa was wearing my merch um, to, uh, to church. But here's the thing about my grandpa. Here's the crazy thing. My grandpa was wearing bootleg merch to church i'm not lying to you we i don't we have never released this shirt ever this is not a uh, this is not a shirt that we've ever released i don't know where he got it i don't listen i'm not gonna even try to explain that my grandpa is one of those guys rare fine my it's like what do you do if someone even asks you about that at church he is uh, trying, and that's all that matters. Three. It, no, you're not wrong, brother. You're not wrong. Uh, Lord Vanderhost. Thank you for the five. Appreciate Paper you. Paper plates slap. They do slap. <clears throat> slap the stick. Um, bro, I got counterfeit Wubby merch in it. Why did you buy counterfeit Wubby? Like, listen, you're not buying my merch because I'm the next Gucci. You're buying it because you like to support me and you like to rep me, right? And maybe you like the design too. So who are, is it for when you buy counterfeit merch? Who is it for? Who is it for? I don't understand. It's like, yeah, th this is really going to support that thief. It's for me. Okay, but you're literally, you're, I'm, you're literally supporting a thief. This is what I was saying on that other stream. I was just like, fuck it. Fuck it. Scam people. It's so, I was watching the H3 podcast today and he was talking about a documentary. $30 million scammed. Do you want to know what he got, what, what that person got? $30 million scam. He had to pay a fine. Motherfucker, I should start scamming you. I need to start stealing. I need to start committing, like, careful scams because all you need to do is pay a fine in maybe a few years. That's it. It's so easy. Just run some credit cards? Apparently. It's that easy. Yo, you pirate samurai cop. What's the I buy fake merch so despite true. you. That's so true. Stevie does wonder. Thank you for the five. I buy fake merch to spite you. <laughs> you know what? I Whatever. Um, my grandpa. I, I don't talk about my grandpa. Can I talk about him real quick before we move on? My grandpa. Oh, Stevie does wonder. He wonders what the world looks like. I used to be very scared that I was going blind. Um, anytime my eyes did anything that weren't normal. Anytime I twitched. I was a very scared child. Everything scared me. Um, anyway, my grandpa is uh is man he is a grandpa but he's unique right he'll say some out-of-pocket things my grandpa thinks he's the funniest man ever as most grandpas apparently do right i've had a few different types of grandpas over the years i've never told you about this one i had one who thought he cured cancer and hated women <laughs> not lying i had another one who uh had cancer should have introduced them uh and he was very smart very kind very gentle man Okay. And he's also gone. And then I also have this other, the, the, my last living grandpa I, that I'm aware of, uh, is the one I just showed you a photo of. And his quirk is that he thinks he's the funniest guy ever. Okay. He'll say some really out of pocket dated shit. Sometimes not a bad man, just different time, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Not, but he's a, you know, he's not bad by any means, but then the biggest quirk of him that I'm going to say, how do you have only three grandpas are you okay i'm gonna let you in on a secret so so human beings can do this thing when so when they're married okay right at some point they might end up not together and then they might do watch my fingers ready this is gonna be quick ready they might get married again and now look at this hold on hold on right but in some cases right in some cases they don't 
So then we have an odd number. You see what I'm getting at here? Wait, no, wait, that's not how that works. I don't actually know how it works. How do I have three grandpas? Is one of them gay? No, it can't be. <laughs> anyway, so this grandpa here, let me tell you his fucking quirk, dude. Okay? Jesus Christ. His quirk is my grandpa is always showing me and very excited and very reads the headline and gets way too into new technology, new things, right? But here's the best part. Here's my favorite part about him. You ready for this? It's always like 10 years old. <laughs> my grandpa will be excitedly explaining to me some thing he read or some thing he got on his computer and yada yada. And it's like, it's just, it's like right behind the curve. <laughs> it's so, I can't believe I've never talked about this. It's just, it's so fucking funny. Okay, people are saying, play, okay. For example, my grandpa hasn't done this, but this would be an example, right? Did you hear about that like Nintendo handheld console, right? Like, no, you can like take it on the go and I'm buying all these like games for it. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. And then he'll show me his DS. That's exactly what my, that is that is exactly what it is. Like an like a, like a old, e I remember, here we go. Here's a good one. A couple of years back, my grandpa discovered eBay and was like explaining the power of eBay to me. You might say cute, but I'm gonna call a spade a spade here a little bit. You're saying cute. Remember, my grandpa has a few things about him. He thinks he's the funniest person in the room. That also translates to, this is the most interesting shit ever. Let me, inf I'm gonna mansplain the fu You need to sit there and listen because this is so interesting. Bro reads Radio Shack's <laughs> newsletter. He's doing a bit. Okay, I hear you. I've known this man for my entire life. I can assure you, I can assure you, this is not a bit and I would appreciate you letting me tell you about my family instead of you telling me about my family okay it's it's a slow poke meme IRL it is it's he's just very committed um <laughs> I can't believe you guys are trying to gaslight me into thinking this is a bit <laughs> no let us gas lamp you hate that he's internet explorer wubby that really though it's the longest con well bro's about to be six feet under and still holding on to it is it really a con when you do the reddit thing of oh 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 sorry is it really a con when you do the reddit thing of like hey everybody look at how retarded i am and they go hey you're being retarded it's really cringe and then he goes haha i was just playing but imagine you never say that i'm playing Cameron, part. luke and cat here from the uk again we Hi. love you say it back cameron luke cat Hey, how you doing? I won't make fun of you guys. Fangle tooth and bread. Polo. Love you. Thank you. <sighs> Don't say Marco. Whew, he said it. Whew. At least all skews. Beans on... Oh my god. Beans on toast is so gross. Checks all right. In the mail. Thank you. Uh, 33 months. Good to be here, Papa. Fax me Okay, let's move past my grandpa. Just had a four-hour trip. That L shit take. is wild. Oh, I said that was L take. Oh, can Just we... Okay, I still have this in my notes, and I don't feel comfortable sailing past it yet. Down for love when? We can watch it. Dead night. Two years. Uh, make I a Lego set a with your dad. I feel like that'd be boring. Thank you, speaker. I want to hear more about your gay grandpa, actually. Can we circle back to that? I don't think I have. I have a gray, gray. I have a gay. Um, what's your sister? What's your grandma's sister called? Hey, son. Have you heard of this fancy new doodad called a palm pilot? Shit is life changing. <laughs> your great aunt. I have a gray. gay. gray. <laughs> uh, someone's gay. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Can we can we can we circle back to this just so I can I can cross that off my list and, and sleep at night? And I know a lot of strong opinions on it, and I don't feel resolved. I frankly do not feel resolved. Okay. I'm also after this gonna be calling out all white women. So get ready for that. But first, um I need someone to tell me who doesn't agree. Why isn't it swimming? Just I know, I know, just let me please. Okay. 
if listen i know i heard you at the beginning of the stream we all got into it thank you for buying gamer subs i see you bro cheers okay why okay you're in a plane it's flying because boats don't swim <laughs> what do boats do then what do boats do okay if you're in a plane it's flying you're in a boat it's swimming okay hold on hold on because boats are buoyant motherfucker so am i and i can swim you float okay okay then i'm okay 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 they float boats float so that they do a lot more than float what well, that doesn't mean floating is an aspect to the movement you wouldn't say oh i floated i'm floating floating implies a lack of movement it's just a it's a bob right like you drop an egg and it floats in water but okay they sail but they don't it's a, that's an old term where does the term sail come from sail the noun right we don't sail anymore they propel so you're propelling <gasps> so wait can we all agree then that you propel oh i propelled over here that's it water driving Cy Cy cyanaz thank you for the five brother no yep okay if we can agree that boats propel and planes fly we can all agree right then why can't i say i i, I propelled over here I, pro I propel i was propelling last night yeah i had a long propel i just propelled in man i'm exhausted why can't we i don't get why not why why you don't know not no 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 hit me with the you can don't make this a free will thing okay you may not use sails anymore but you still set sail when you leave on the boat trip but we're but no we shouldn't be setting sail <laughs> you cruise yeah but you could cruise anywhere though i'm cruising right now dude this discussion is boated i don't even know what that a means a boat is a watercraft of a large range of sizes designed to float plane work or travel on water plane hold on that fucks everything up a boat planes Woo. what it a boat planes what can a boat plane this doesn't feel like a sentence what causes a boat to plane what, what does it mean planing the wikipedia just says planing and then in parentheses boat I'm not. Boat sail. Note that this sailing is done even when no sails are carried. Ooh. Planing is the mode of operation of a waterborne craft in which the weight is predominantly supported by hydro hydrodynamic lift. You know what? I give up on the conversation. I'm just, we're going to call it, we'll call it, we'll call it. I don't even fucking care. I'm just not going to travel by water anymore. It's old anyway. Who cares? Big words, you. Cargo ships are starting to use massive sails. Just wait sails. until You're Wubby lying. finds out you drive on a parkway and park on a driveway. <laughs> that one's dumb, dude. Landlubber? I thought it was landlubber. Because you're 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 not a sea person. What the fuck? What? Boating <laughs> is the leisurely activity of traveling by boat. Or the recreational use of a boat, whether power boats, sail boats, or man-powered vessels, such as rowing and paddle boats, <laughs> focused on the travel itself, as well you as sports activities, land. such as fishing or water skiing. If okay. you can plan a boat, you can poop a fart. <laughs> He's so real for that. He really is. I had this conversation today, and this is only to be divisive. We're moving past this. I don't care anymore. Um... I will now share the longest grammatically correct sentence using just word buffalo 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 Huh? 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 Someone said not this shit. This must be well known. Buffalo buffalo buffalo. He correct? Bro, this is Okay, we got 3 minutes, right? We got three minutes, right? You got three minutes. Chad, you got three minutes to spare? Yeah? No? Okay, we'll find something productive to do for three minutes then. I'm sorry, I can't unsee the dude right here behind the ear. Let it go, man. Let it go. Just shave it off. Let it go. Never let me be that, chat. 
If you see it starting to creep back hey, like George, that on me. if you can hear me through Wubby's stream, can you send me up a toilet roll? Thanks. Oh, amen to that. Amen to that. Let it go, man. There is something so beautiful about shaving your head. God, just, just let it go, dude. And you know what? I mean, it even looks like he does shave it, just not the sides. Man. You may think you know the- I'm scared my head shape looks odd. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know something, brother. Your head shape looks really fucking odd with that friar's cap going on, okay? Everyone judges you. You add 20, 30 years to yourself. If you want to talk about odd fucking head shape, there's probably people in my chat sitting here right now turning down the volume because they don't want to be called out this hard. Shave it. There's, you Do look you good. Do you know that air is considered a liquid for the purpose of aerodynamics? Dude, what? I don't give any amount of shit about that. What are you talking about? Air is considered a liquid for the purposes of air. What the fuck does that even mean, bro? Air is a air is a liquid. Okay, pour me a glass of air next time I'm through. What the fuck are you saying, bro? Anyway, words that sit plainly. Oh, it's a fluid, not a liquid. You're not even right, dude. You don't even know how to With do it. With regards to hair, you gotta fire it before it quits, bro. Hey, dude, real. Oh God! And you know what? Let's take it a step further. It should be. I would. People are always talking superpowers, invisibility, blah blah blah. I wish I could just have zero pubic hair. In black on your page, but don't be fooled. Some words are capable of taking on different guises. Okay, wrap it up. Masquerading as Hello? nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Bro's explaining English like I'm not speaking it right now. That alter their meanings entirely. Come on! This seeming superpower is called lexical ambiguity. Oh, God. It can turn words and sentences into mazes that mm -hmm. mess with your minds. I do a good job at hiding the hairline. For example, hair. consider the following. Fair. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. That may sound like nonsense, but it's actually a grammatically correct sentence. How? Well, buffalo is a proper noun, a yep. noun, and a verb. Okay. It refers to an animal. I don't know what the verb buffalo is. Animal, also known as a bison, <clears throat> an American city. And it can also mean to bully. Wait a minute. Can we figure this out? I actually might know how the sentence is now. So a, 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 a buffalo from Buffalo. Buffaloes. Buffalo, Buffalo. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! These different interpretations create a sequence of words that is grammatically correct as I want to hear it. Whoa. Though it helps to add in a few implied phrases and punctuation marks to reveal what's really going oh, on. Oh, let's see it. Buffalo, buffalo are bison from the city of Buffalo. This, and this is so cool! Has Ooh! Three groups of them. Group A, which is bullied by group B, bullies group oh, why, C. Oh, why did they make the... Why the why they made the bullies purple? In other words, bison from Buffalo that other bison from Buffalo bully also bully bison from Buffalo. If you let each buffalo Whoa. perform its role, the meaning becomes apparent. What if the bunch of bullying buffalo... In planes, lift is caused by airflow. Airplane wings are designed in such a way that the air molecules prefer moving under the wing rather than above it. So as a result, there is more air flowing underneath the wing compared to above it. <clears throat> bro, you think I give a shit about what air molecules prefer, bro? You think I'm going to take the time to ask consent every time I'm breathing, bro? I got, I got buffalo to watch. I got videos to digest, bro. Aerodynamics is crazy. Yeah, I've seen how it affects my body. It's I prefer wild. flowing fluid under that guy's mom. <laughs> Fun Let's fish go. fact. Let's go. A huge mass of people also takes on the physics of liquid at a certain density. It's how crowd crush happens. And what? it's super scary. People called fluid liquid? dynamics. That's crazy. <gasps> oh my god! I just had a buffalo moment, which is what I'm coining that term now. When you when you have a eureka moment, we're changing it to buffalo. I just had a buffalo moment. Oh my god! Crowds of people become like fluid, like water. I can't do the zero pubic hair bit because the rest of me is hairy. And it would look weird to just be bald in my Can you guys keep zone. up with the conversation as I it comes up? Buffalo, 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 Buffalo <clears throat> was black. 
I'm oh boy, my first second. TDs. Hope this does the uh, it the right way. That Buffalo thing is proof. English is the worst language in the world. <clears> Hope I <throat> All right, I muted you. <clears throat> Happy first TTS. You made it. Okay, so listen. First off, the pubic hair thing, that's weird. Yeah, if you're like a weird werewolf man and then your crotch is bare, I'm picturing it right now. Like, I'm just I'm just picturing, like, the most hairy dude ever. And then he has, like, like you know when a cat goes to the doctor and they shave the little area? That'd be you. Yeah, it's a little weird. I get that. I think if you're hairy, keep it hairy, you know? But I'm thinking about myself, man. It would be nice to just have, like, legitimate god-smooth tear fupa and asshole i just feel like everything would go better in my life if i was just seriously perfect down there anyway let's move on from that buffalo moment for me human beings are liquid when they get into large groups is what that guy said i was like huh that doesn't make any sense i get it now i get it now humans li all liquid is all it is is molecules okay when you get enough people together we are water molecules just on a big scale, right? Much like it's not even, it's not, it's such a nothing conversation when you think about it, because right now, me and you, we're gas. We're a gas because we're so far apart, right? And if we hugged, we would be a solid. O decides to cross the ocean, not just on any ship, but a ship shipping ship shipping shipping Stop. ships. That sentence sounds just as outrageous. <laughs> but there's ridiculous. logic to the babble. Ship can mean a vessel and to transport. When we sub in those meanings, a clearer picture emerges. Here we have a huge ship carrying vessel transporting ships that themselves Whoa. are designed to carry goods across the sea. A ship shipping ship shipping shipping ships. How about some entertainment on board this unusual vessel Whoa. to offset the scuffling Big buffalo? Hug, you know I mean, Consider the can-can. Can-can, 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 can-can. Here, the word can oh. comes in many guises. There's can-can, the flamboyant dance, can that means able to, and can figuratively meaning to outperform. By sticking in a comma Did you ever and see the video of that one concert where the crowd is so large and starts to move like a water? Like a water. Like one water. Applied meanings. This sentence because... What were you learning fourth grade shit? Well, maybe because maybe when I was in fourth grade, I wasn't mature enough to handle it, okay? All right, little you fucking... You should look up what? fish spelled G-H-O-T-I next. You're, not everyone was young Sheldon. Some of us went to school to get laid or to pick boogers. Okay, or to sleep at the back of the class, all right? He was too busy learning all the states. Yes, I was, and I could recite them all. If you and I hugged, something would definitely get solid. What does that mean? Uh... Comes clearer. Can okay, I don't want to keep wasting our time with this shit, but somebody told me to look up a fish, and I really want to look it up real quick. Because what if it's, like, super interesting? What if, like, we don't know what it is, and, and it's really interesting? What? Is it... What is... Is it a Tom Scott video? What is this? What? Goaty? How to say goaty? What is this? Goaty fish? We are looking at how to pronounce this word and why. This is a made up word by Bernard Shaw, who proposed the spelling for the word fesh. So this is to be said as fesh. Now what? What? <laughs> Guys, I'm like not even high and I'm starting to get really confused. <laughs> what? I, he took the GH from the word laugh, so that's the F sound, the O from women, and the TI from the word nation fesh f e sh fesh pretty straightforward once you know it makes sense now doesn't it fesh what the f okay but here's my question who did that they, they, he gave a name and it's like this fucking dude just decided to spell the word fish this enrages me me too wait till this man finds out about that every glass is a glot that let me try fuck 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 
Every glass is a glass of water? What does that mean? Wait till this man finds out every glass is a glass of water. What does that mean? Jeb, the movie Zootopia had to be shot with a different technology and was shot in 34 frames per second due to a weird rule. Look up Zootopia Rule 34 to find out more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it auto-filled. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hey, son, did you know the reason large crowds act like fluids is because it's easier on the simulation CPU to treat us as one entity? Life is just a shitty Bethesda game. Goatee. If this doesn't sound like fish, this video is a lie. Goatee. Goatee. Loved every fish. second of the ride. Scooter was in black. Goatee fish. Seven less than three. Have you talked about Starfield? Seven I will. Do you want to talk about it right now? Go Goatee fish. That was cool. Months, well, I feel like I feel we feel learned something. Cheesy. Don't say you don't. You know what? Don't ever say you watch the stream and don't learn Back anything. Let's learn something else now. Okay. Seven okay. Months. How so has I it been so long already? This was on the Hi, subreddit. Papa. Word of the day. I have a word of the day that was on the subreddit. I have a word of the day that was on the subreddit. <laughs> so somebody posted this and I did not know it was a real word. And it is. It's a, in fact, let's define it first. Let's define this word first. So the word of the day is. Fun fish fact, boat swim. Uh, a unit of energy saved as a result of conservation measures, such as reducing the use of heat or the use of electricity. That is the word of the day. That is the word of the day. <laughs> I don't even want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it, dude. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. It's a watt? It is a watt, but it's a specific type of watt. Megawatt. Oh, why is it a robot's voice? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's... I can't believe... Dude, and then I was... I. <laughs> This is so dumb, but it. <laughs> who posted this? We need to ban them, is what we need to do. I Somebody learned how to lose brain summer. cells today. What do you mean? <laughs> Worse than the Skeeter video? What do you mean? I have a degree in, in nuclear physics. I can explain how glass is a fluid glass, water glass. What the fuck did you just say? You're stressing me out. Nigga, what? We're done. We're never we're never talking about this ever again. We're never talking about this ever again. <laughs> Making a sound. Bro, there's no shot ever. Ever. Ever that I'm making that a sound. That's ridiculous, dude. Uh, Fun fish fact. Fish don't like negawatts. Stop! Since stop! we're talking about words, have you ever heard the name for the dinosaur that had nine? Yes! Stop! 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 Yes! Okay, stop. I never heard of that word. Somebody posted it on the subreddit. Okay, it was it made me giggle. I'm like, oh wow, that's that's crazy. That that's just a word. I wonder if how people use that in their in their field of study. That's crazy. Well, but you know what deja vu really is, right? Yeah, dude. Neon C, we have a male mid thirties found down, possible overdose. He unresponsive. Blood of cold. Who fell and diaphragmatic. As I fall deeper into a manic state, I'm a prime candidate for the dream, but if people don't bad debate, but but she climbs at a dramatic rate. I see. Well, have you ever heard the word zip? Do a bottle like that and then it. Oh, are you guys doing a meme of the deja vu thing where you You're keep asking? Regarded. He's breaking. What's happening? That song I was just singing is Deja Vu by Eminem. Okay. Is he having a stroke? I've lost you. What is ha what is guys? Are you okay? <laughs> Do people not know the Deja Vu song? There's a gas leak, Wubby. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you guys not know that song? It's a really good song. No? Do you want to hear it? No, you probably don't want to hear it. Okay, fine. All right, move on. We move on.
move on. Yeah, I want to hear it. All right. Yeah, it's kind of a banger. All right, here. I got you. I'll just skip to the part I was doing. That's how I know how to how to spell deja vu. Because of Eminem. Because my boy. Because my boy M. DMC, we have a mid thirties male found down. Bro, I crushed this, bro. Substance unknown. Pulse is sixty and thready. Respirations eight. I killed this just now, bro. Uh, BP 90 over Actual Dude, so many cool. of my gamer subs today. Thank you. Use code Bobby. A lot of new shit on their site. GSCS3. We'll update and route. ETA 10 minutes. As I fall deeper into a manic state. Come on. I'm a prime candidate for the gene and receive the drug addict trait. Blood pressure climbs at a dramatic rate. I seem to gravitate to the bottle of night. Well, then I salivate. Start off with the night. Well, I got the god this have a taste. Couple of sips of that, then I gradually graduate to a harder prescription drug called Valium. Like, yeah, that's great. I go to just take one and I end up like having eight. There you go. Good. Banger. What? Banger. Eh? Eh? Are you ehing? Eh, Minem? Cargo ships have sails. Here's a picture. That is so cool. Pioneering. I feel like, man, that's something I will never understand. And like, there's so many things like that in this world where I'm like, someone, some ancestor, some really fucking smart past man, past, past dude. And I use dude as a genderless term here. Some past person. We take a bathroom break. Just go for it. Like who the fuck? Like, like. Neighbor, what? Ba 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 ugh. Back when we back when we didn't have like like power and shit, and you just went on a boat, and your only luck was the wind. Like what? Like this is my question, right? Okay, let's say I need to go from here to here. I need to go from east. I need to go from west east to west, right? I have this line I need to take, and it's it's out across the ocean, here to here, right? Okay, and the wind takes me away from shore. Goodbye, waving goodbye to everybody, right? What the fuck do they do? When they're just out in the middle of nowhere, I know they use the stars to navigate what direction it is, but here's my question, right? What about when the wind just ain't fucking blowing in that way? You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 do I have to time every single second of this until the wind will get me to go where I need to go? Like, do you know what I'm saying? And like, how unbearably long that take. you're saying oars no i'm talking like a big fuck you pirate ship type thing like christopher columbus energy where there's no there's no one rowing right you, you it you know what i mean it, they zigzag it okay so you mean to tell me they would just go with the wind when it was kind of in the direction god talk about painstakingly uh, frustrating ways to travel look up tacking i'm actually super fascinated by this tacking in ships I'm, just, I'm adding the context to that i don't know is that because like now we have like paths that we take and whatever but like oh my god you're not wrong tacking is the sailing maneuver used to change the bus direction through an oncoming wind what look up sounding stop but wait okay the wind is coming this way how does the boat go that way then though Tacking a sailboat calls for the crew to work as a coordinated team. What a nightmare. Bro, this shit is wild. Like, God, and think about the distance, the, the distances, and not only the, the distances, but the conditions that these people were in. This, this wasn't cushy, right? Oh my God. It actually sounds fun. Not not then it wasn't fun. Maybe now when you get to go under the deck and you have satellite Yes, fucking... there is a YouTube channel that travel via water across the Atlantic. I saw that. I, I just... Try tacking with scurvy. Yup, bro. Yup. Let's see all you banana haters now. Sailing was infamously dangerous and brutal. Hey, I Wubby. Know... First time dono. Sorry if late to word joke. If you want to enjoy verbose ones, search YouTube. Verbose meet the spy, Wubby7. I don't know what that any of those means, but thank you. I appreciate it. You mean oranges? What? Most of the sailors back in that era were forced into service, so it really wasn't fun. Yep. Yep. They show it on the show below deck. No. I just... Man, I knew... Okay, I didn't know that. That is so... But even the tacking strategy, right? The wind still has to be going in that direction for it to work. I can't... Im How long would they just fucking sit there? Would they just sit there? Oh, the wind's not working today, so we're no, we're not moving. In fact, we're going backwards. No, you can still, you can do it into the wind. It would just take months. Bro, the boat. That's crazy. They row. Fuck 
that, dude. Absolutely fuck all of that. Love you, Wabi. Oh my god. Why didn't they just bring a Wind Waker? Hello? And then they have the little, the little Fun fish stick fact. pad. There. A ship that is tacking is swimming like a fish. <laughs> They didn't even have toilet paper then. Imagine shitting over the side. Also, if there was no wind, they could just get out and swim. Duh. <laughs> well, they would be they'd be propelling. <laughs> also, you guys talk about shitting over the side like it's a bad hey, thing. Hey, Wubby, fifteenth time. Don't look up America's Cup sailing the ships fly. What are you? What did you just say? Wubby, look up what life was like aboard the HMS Victory. If this video is more than four minutes, I'm not watching it. <laughs> I'm not watching this. Also, I don't even know what the HMS Victory is. That sounds like a kind of STD. HMS Victory tour guide, 28 minutes. What do you think this is? A stream? What's wrong with you? All aboard the most advanced battleship. This thing does look pretty legit though, Chad. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This thing looks crazy. Rabbit hole stream? No, we can't, we can't. I have okay, experienced I hacking had to sail the seven seas on the Sea of Thieves. Got that fucking chest, though. The Sea of Thieves? That boring-ass game that's fun for, like, 15 minutes, bro? Are you kidding me? I love you, too! Okay, what? Okay, I'm just gonna... Let's just see. I just wanna... Is this content? You guys gotta stop asking for content. Every time you ask for content, I spend five more minutes watching stupid boat videos, okay? Okay? Sorry. 1805. Britain Apologies. is a... 16th time, Donna, here. Look up America's Cup Sailing. The boats fly. Okay, America's cup sailing. America's cup sailing. America's cup sailing. Okay, I have it up on my other monitor. Those boats are flying! What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, they're flying! What the fuck? Bubby, have you started a second Baldur's Gate campaign? Love you. Happy Friday, chat. Love you. I have. Look at this. Bro, what is this? You're not a boat. What are you doing? You belong in the air. Why is he kind of like gives a little fanfare to the crowd with his little, he gives a little, little wave to the crowd with his other hand. Look at it. He goes right here, right here. Ladies, ladies, please. Okay, so would this boat be planing? What do you guys think? Man, that's so cool. Now look, dude, look at us flexing on these okay, 1805 now check out the losers. To this. Two girls, one cup. 1805, your boats couldn't even fucking fly, oh, with bro. The French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte will soon dominate mainland Europe. But at sea, Britain's Royal Navy reigns supreme. That year, Napoleon wins one of his <laughs> greatest so victories. This is, too, this is too history for me. I'm out. Hey, thanks, though. Hey, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Maybe I'll watch that another day. I appreciate it. Thank you. Man, people just... That Still was their whole life. Pulled that 17th century ship from the ocean and put it's it on crazy. display. Apparently, crazy. it smells fucking dank. Fucking. Yeah, too much for me. Too much info. I need, I need special needs people dating ASAP is what I need. Check the subreddit. I will... I need to call out white women first, though. It's not really a call out. I just want to, I want to maybe, God, there's just a guy getting his testicles smashed on the subreddit. I'm sorry. What is this? Is this just someone's penis? Oh, it's his toe. Oh my God. That scared me. Oh, they do have, they tend to use slaves for rowing. And there's a photo of, 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 a. oh, they, they had oars on this shit. Okay. I didn't know that. Interesting. Why did somebody say pog slaves? Can I show this Kirby sucking the tits or will this game be banned? There's no way, right? This is, it's art. I can show art nudity, right? Right? It's art. <laughs> it's worth the risk. Hold on, I'm gonna deem if it's worth the risk right now. Don't, it's educational. Ludwig showed it. Well, if Ludwig showed it. It's just a Kirby tattoo. It's art. Ludwig said it's okay, and he's the face of Twitch. I'm not gonna do it. 
Ludwig is not on this platform. No. Since when? Did he move to kick? No. When? What? No. No. I'm not gonna show. You guys got me all. You got me all spooked. I don't, I'm, I'm scared too now. I'm scared too now. Ludwig, Ludwig is made out of butter. Real. All right, we, I need to say this, then we're just moving on. I'm not even gonna make it a big deal. Who cares? No, no I'm not even gonna say it. No, I'm not even gonna say it. No, I'm not even gonna say it. Can I, I will say though, yesterday, I talked about this briefly, but now I'm gonna get into it. Maybe we'll come back to the other thing. Yesterday was a day for me that I haven't experienced since I was a fucking kid. Wubby grandpa moment? What? What was it, my grandpa moment? Hey, Wubby, hello. How are you? Believe it or not, jail. Straight away, Do jail. Do not look up shipworms. They can burrow into ships multiple feet. Ah, oh, I'm good. I'm good on all that. I don't like shit like that. Yesterday, I was waiting for Starfield. At 5 p.m., Starfield would go live for me as the as someone who got the other the edition that it releases early. I got. I was waiting. 5 p.m. Starfield. I'm sitting there. 5 p.m. Strikes. Launch the game. It starts doing this whole download bullshit thing. I'm so excited. I'm ready to go for Starfield. And then Peanut puts a message in our uh, Counter Strike chat, and Peanut goes. Hey, everybody, check your Steam. You probably just got into Counter-Strike 2. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I, two games that I have been waiting for for like 10 years drop at the same day, surprisingly, like, no, we did not know this was coming, and at the same fucking time. And I was sitting there, and I'm like, what do I do? What do I even fucking? I was I had Starfield up. And I was downloading CS and I booted CS and I was. I, I didn't even know what to do. And okay, what a coincidence! I was. I'm actually a little mad. I'm kind of mad at, at at CS for doing that because it's like, it, it 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 made me enjoy both of them less because the entire time I'm like I should be playing the other one. I should be playing the other one. It's not a coincidence. It just annoyed me. I could. I like. I feel like it's also kind of BM. CS2 is out. CS2 isn't out out, but it is. If you have a CS account and were ranked, they rolled it out to like most active CS players. Like almost everyone has it if you actively play CS. Um, and not to mention, I'm st I started a new Baldur's Gate run just a couple days ago, and I'm doing this like straight up evil genocide run. Only rule is no kids. We don't we don't fuck with kids. Okay, me and my boys. Um, and uh. It's been really fun. I've been really liking it. I've been doing all kinds of shit. I'm a I'm a oath breaking paladin motherfucker. No, unfortunately. Anyway, um, so I'm into that too, and I'm saying I'm like I don't know what to fucking play. So, do you guys want my like? I'm only four or five hours in. Starfield thoughts. Is CS2 gonna be free? I think so. <laughs> all right, here we go. You ready? No. Also, I'm an hey. You might want to skip Sunday stream because I know my dad's going to be on. It's going to be cooking and everything, but I'm going to have, by the time Sunday rolls around, I'm going to have seen Oppenheimer and I'm going to be giving my Oppenheimer opinions. And if it's like any other movie I see, I'm going to piss off somebody. If I like it, if I don't like it, if I say anything, people are going to be pissed. So I'm finally going to see Oppenheimer and I'm going to tell you guys every, all my thoughts about it. And I can't wait to see it. I'm already, I'm going to bitch a little bit. I'm going to pre-John. And I don't, I know what people are going to say. I don't care. I'm going to say this. Okay. I don't like movie theaters. I don't like, I think movie theaters are annoying. I think they're overpriced. I think they're outdated. And I think it's time they, they stop existing in general. I'm just throwing that out there. And Oppenheimer, in my opinion, I know it's IMAX. It's the way to see it, the way it was intended. That's fair. I totally get that. That's the time where a movie theater should exist, in my opinion, for those like specialty things. I get that. However, however, I, as a, as a human being who uh, does not like, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to get so much shit for this, but I don't even care. I like being at home. And if I have to fucking pee, I can just pause the movie, right? I can hold, I'm an adult. I can hold my pee through a three hour movie, through four hour car rides. I can, I can as an adult do that. I can, yes, I can hold it. That doesn't mean I enjoy when I have to go see a long movie in the theater. And I know it, especially if I'm getting a drink, which I'm, I guess I'm not going to do, right? I'm going to be annoyed at some point during the movie. I'm going to have to pee. I'm going to be annoyed. And I'm like, if I was at home, I could just pause and go pee. 
But now I'm going to be thinking about it. And because I'm anxious about it, I'm going to think about it more. And God forbid, like during the Spider-Man movie, I had diarrhea. I had to just miss like five minutes of it. it. Sucks. It's fucking annoying. I hate it. I hate it. Theaters, old man bladder. Now, see, old man bladder would be I just peed my pants during the movie, which I used to do when I was a kid. Uh, I, you, you get anxiety shits? Yup. And I know that this movie's long, and I know I'm about to go see it. I'm like, man, like, if I pee, I'm just missing it. I'm just missing it. And also, I think peeing, every, like, between, what, three, four hours? That's not not normal, right? Just wear a diaper. You guys aren't understanding what I'm saying. I'm, I can hold my pee through the movie. I, I have that ability. This is something People I don't like doing. Say movies are better in theater, have <clears throat> shit home theater setups. Movies are better in theaters in terms of better, I guess, the, the screen, bigger, speaker, rumblier, sure, right? And cheaper if you don't have a home theater setup. But you're also getting hey, inconvenience. Hey, Wubby, as someone who is also dieting and a drinker, how do you balance the calories with your diet? Of alcohol? I don't drink alcohol, like, at all. Like, literally, you see, you guys see 99% of my alcohol consumption, which is not very common. I'm not, I'm not, ca I'm giving real health advice. I do not drink alcohol very often. TDS often. ham. <laughs> Honestly, we're so cucked as Americans. Fuck healthcare. Give me theater-specific toilets with the movie running like in Europe. That's what I'm saying. Bro, I, I guess... Here, okay. I I, I just... I, I'm just a movie theater hater. And I know. I, I People will never... I, some people just cannot relate with it. I've never actually met somebody in person in my friend group who's a movie theater hater the way I'm a movie theater hater. It's just... Even before I had a nice home theater setup, which, by the way, is a TV and some speakers in my house. Even before... You hate it too, senor? See? Thank you. But even before I had that, I just... Movie theaters are just... Man, they're inconvenient. Why are you a hater? I've been to too many movies that have been genuinely negative, negatively affected by the fact that they're publicly shared, right? Unfortunately, chat, human beings suck. In a bit. I'm here to explain. Human beings are annoying and when you bring them together in public they're fucking annoying right i've been to one too many movies where people just are annoying so that right out the gate that sucks that ruins the movie and it's like damn okay one uh the second thing is i have myself had experiences ruined by like i gotta use the restroom or i want to use the restroom and i can't or uh you know whatever it's it's too crowded it's uncomfortable uh the, i can't eat what i want to eat i can't enjoy what i want to enjoy I'm in a public viewing of movies is just an experience I don't like for the benefits of big screen, big sound. It's just not. It's not worth what you pay for it. Last which is, movie we went to, I had to tell someone to shut the fuck up. They had to have commentary every two minutes. It was a I horror hate, movie. Dude I, dude, I have a few stories. I, I The worst... <laughs> I don't even, I don't like talking about this because people get weird with what I'm going to say. So I'll just share the other one. One movie, I saw the Demon Slayer movie in theaters. And yeah, it was all like teenagers yapping, just not giving a fuck. And like emotionally impactful things. You hear people just, it's like, shut the fuck up. A movie I nearly walked out on was the, I'm just going to say it. A movie I nearly walked out on was a movie called Death at a Funeral. I've told you guys this before. It was like I was at home, but I was at their home, the people in front of me. I was just at their house. We're casually watching on their couch because God knows they were just talking. I love that movie. I wish I could have. No, it was a it was the com the comedy movie that came not the British one. No, it wasn't British. Um, okay. Anyway, why am I banned in your Discord? What the who? The, I don't know, dude. You think I know? Remember the Joker? What happened during the Joker? I don't remember. Hey, Wubby. Second time, Dono. Yeah, Hi. the guy earlier again. I found out how to make the voice not blow your ears out. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the great content. Highlight Thank channel you. and three months on Twitch. Have a good stream. Sorry for interrupting Wubby7. <sighs> Went to go see Spider-Verse, and there was a mom with her two kids, and she let them run back and forth in the aisle for most of the back half of that shit. If you're seeing a movie that kids can enjoy, they're going to ruin it, Bald. most likely. Children will ruin it. If you're seeing a movie uh, adults can enjoy, then... Um, I'm not saying they will ruin it, but I'm saying everything else about the theater, the inconveniences that I hate are just, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, some stranger took bare feet out next to me the whole It's just a, being near strangers is usually awful, right? And I, and I, I think that theaters were really popular at one point because of where technology was and like how it worked. So we just accepted it. But them still being popular, I think, is not because it's the best way to watch a movie anymore. It's because, uh, uh, how do I word this? 
There's nothing fun about watching movie with strangers. You can't argue that. I, 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 it's just that simple. There's nothing fun about it. You, you, you can say you like the sound. You can say you like the screen. But you can all agree watching a movie in a crowded theater is fucking awful. And people can ruin it often. Yep, just like when you're soaring on a plane. Why are you saying sorry now? Why are you using, why are you saying soaring instead of flying? What are you doing there? Shared experiences are fun. Oh, I love seeing movies with my friends. Are you kidding me? When we do a movie night at this house, we all get on the couch and get chairs. That is so... That is better than any movie theater experience I've ever had in my entire life. Not even close, bro. Not even close. Now I'm just yapping. I saw Jackass opening night and it was insanely awesome. Great fun crowd. Hey, Wubby. 50 Exception. second dono here. My wife has seen the bank statements and I'm in trouble. Advice? Stop then. Well, stop. It's that easy. Stop. Also se separate accounts. Stop though. Jackass is a decent theater movie because uh, let's be honest jackass is not a narrative it's a series of degenerate pranks you can you can get up and go to the bathroom and come back to jackass and have missed nothing and missed everything it's not yeah it's a circus right oppenheimer i'm i'm loathing seeing it in a, in a public space i'm loathing it i really am uh comedy movies are different yeah i agree but people can still ruin comedy movies bro you ever see a comedy movie with someone in the crowd who is laughing a little too hard at the wrong parts that's how you can ruin a comedy. That that's that's how right there. I'm sorry, but someone with a weird fucking laugh letting it out at the wrong parts. It's like it was not it was not funny. <laughs> okay, we're sharing this theater. Shut up. Horror movies. Okay, ready? Here we go. Really hot take. This actually, I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna yap. I'm gonna finish this yap. I'm sorry. You brought me into the next stage of my argument. I'm gonna talk about Halloween. I'm gonna talk about Christmas. And first, I'm gonna talk about horror movies. I hate horror movies. Seeing horror movies in theaters is, is, give me a length of a horror movie, any time. Give me a length of a horror movie. Hour and a half, two hours, give me a length, any length. Hour and a half, average, 90 minutes, okay? Seeing a horror movie is 90 minutes of, I wish I didn't do this when I'm in the theater. It is, I just, horror movies where I'm waiting for something to jump scare me, okay? Makes me anxious. The feeling of the jump scare coming puts me in an anxiety state, right? I do not like that state of being in anxiety, so I would never want to experience that in a theater where I can't escape it, right? I'm watch I like watching horror movies at home, right? G we watched, uh, as a group, we had a friend night, we watched uh, 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 Hereditary. I saw it for the first time at home. Great movie, I had a lot of fun with it. It was a spooky movie, some really graphic shit in it. I don't think I would have a good time in a theater where if I want to go pee, I can't even go pee. It's too loud. It's too much. There's like, I saw Lighthouse, the lighthouse with, uh, with the green goblin and the vampire. Uh, I saw that at home. I watched that in my home setup, right? There's a scene in that movie where the volume that's like, it's, it is uncomfortably loud. And that's the, I believe that's the, the intent of that scene. Seeing that in a theater, I probably would have walked out. I can't even imagine how uncomfortable that was in theater. So fuck seeing horror movies in I've got up to pee theaters. during Jackass 3, and when I came back, people were throwing up. Found out why later, because I missed the sweat cocktail scene. Happy I missed that one. Oh, oh, God, that is so gross, dude. Hey, I have bad news for Oppenheimer then. Wait, are there going to be explosions in Oppenheimer? Little homie gets overstimulated? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Oppenheimer is so loud. See, I gotta be a real. A lot of people don't know Hereditary was named after the way the little girl died. Her edit a tree. Damn. Oppen See, okay, I've heard this complaint that Oppenheimer is so loud, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. That sounds fucking annoying. That sounds really annoying. I don't Dude, wanna go- I saw I the Weird Smile movie in theaters, and it was so anxiety-inducing. Yeah, it's very loud. It's a nuke, Wubby. Yeah, okay, so then you're right. So you know what? If that's your argument, if it's a nuke, it should be loud. Good. I want it to kill me then. I want to get vaporized in the theater for realism. I want every viewing of, of Oppenheimer to have a small nuclear warhead under our seats. And just, yeah, I want us to all go blind. I want to walk out being dust. Okay, I want, I want to be like a shadow. <laughs> yeah, hey, I want to be the imprint. That scene from Terminator where she's on the, the gate. Ah! That's I want to be that, dude. Blue flame, let's go. I want to be plasma on the floor. I think we all know you're going to hate Oppenheimer. So why no. even go see it? Why would I hate the movie, though? 
I just don't like theaters. I saw Spider-Man in theaters, and it's that's one of the, the real 3D experience. Uh, okay. You hate everything, champ. No, you just probably don't pay attention close Movie enough. Movie night with chat. Sneak you us must into like. the theater and let us all watch with you. <laughs> you want to stream the movie? That's a good way to get banned. If you hate the movie, chat will implode. I've heard mixed things about it, though. It hasn't been universally loved. I saw some, like... De I saw definitely... No spoilers. Hey, spoiler alert, he makes the bomb. What do you... What do you mix... I have seen mixed things about it. I haven't seen that this was the overwhelming, d like, best movie of all time. If you don't like it, you have no ground to stand on. What are your favorite movies? Oppenheimer. By who? Um, friends of mine that have seen it. I have some friends who really, really loved it, and I had other friends who were like, wasn't my favorite. Wasn't my favorite. Bro, spoilers, come on, bro. Uh, the score is amazing. Yo, well, audience score is different than, like, people who you know you've seen it having a real conversation with you, right? One Piece on Netflix, haven't seen it. Okay, Pina hasn't seen it either. <clears throat> okay, oh, do we want to... Chat, we we're at a crossroads here because we yapped. The score is the music. Oh, you're talking about the score? When you mention score, when I'm talking about how people like it, and you say, check the score, I assume you're not talking about the soundtrack. Um, This is why he hates everything. He's regarded. Who hates everything? Uh, oh, give your Starfield opinion? Okay, I'll give that real quick. Um, Audio engineer here. I had my D decibel meter app open, and it clocked the loudest part at 102 decibels. Wait, what? What? How loud is that? What? How is 100 decibels safe? A whisper is 30. An oral conversation is 60. Loud noises above 120 can cause immediate harm to your ears. So Oppenheimer is like having sex for the first time. Good, but doesn't live up to the hype. Really? Really? For me, it was like trying to fit like a, like a wet rope in a keyhole. So is that how Oppenheimer is going to be? Hey, son. Oppenheimer is a bottom three Nolan movie. It's insanely overhyped and carried entirely by audio design and decent acting. See that what you just said, the, the criticism I heard was one of the worst of his movies, but I don't know. I haven't seen it guys. Don't argue with me. I have not seen it. I have no opinion. I have not watched reviews. I have not heard spoilers. I don't know anything. I just heard some people really thought it was like groundbreaking. And then I heard other people like, it's really overhyped. So I'm interested to see it. I'm going to leave, Murph. Don't let him leave. Do you have a favorite Nolan movie? I don't. I don't. I'm in the camp of who cares. You're in, you're in the cool guy camp. You're in the I lean up against a door with my little fedora and my shades. The ending is chilling. It's bone chilling. Um. Okay. I slept through it. That's Dude, you're old as fuck. Uh, Starfield. Okay. Here's, here's, the, here's my last opinion that I'm going to give. And then we're done. Okay. Starfield opinion. You ready? I have a Starfield opinion. It's not good. Just kidding. It's great. I love Starfield, but I have ironic I have a, that it's overhyped because that's just Nolan in general. My Starfield opinion is I like it a lot. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, it's it to me. It's it's Fallout in space. I like Fallout a lot. Um, I like a lot of little things about it. So far, I'm, I'm on some zany side quests. I'm liking going to a planet for a side quest. And when I get there, there's another side quest that branches into another. One of my favorite things about like RPGs like this is to get totally lost in side quests. And you take a step back an hour later and you go, where the, what? Oh, fuck. I was doing this thing. Oh, my God. I have this mission I'm on. Um, how does it compare to Outer Worlds? So far, I like it more than Outer Worlds. Here's my biggest problem with it, though. You guys ready for this? I, so far, love it. And if it holds my love, banger. Must get banger. That's where I'm at right now with it. No guarantee because it could totally, it could get very stale. Something could happen. But right now, I'm into it. I'm like, ooh, lots of cool stuff. Missions seem very unique. I'm doing all kinds of things. Uh, the UI is a little shitty. I'll give you that. I don't like the inventory system. It's a little shitty. It took me a long time to figure out why I was losing so much fucking oxygen. By the way, it's because your carry weight is different from planet to planet because of gravity. Yeah, it's really fucking cool, but maybe put down a fucking screen for me somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ, I was Googling this shit and then realized the game's been out for a fucking hour. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, there's no map. No, you're just stupid. Um, uh, so... I finished Starfield already? You must have speed ran that shit. That's crazy. 
Um, is that why? Yes, if you're running out of oxygen when you take steps, it's because you're over encumbered. Okay, and it, you need to drop your shit, put it on your ship. Uh, okay, no local map, or am I stupid? No, you're not stupid. It's just you're, if you can't figure out how to where to go, it's because you're stupid. Um, anyway, here's my problem. Here's my problem with Starfield, though, and it's actually not Starfield's fault at all, and this is fucked up to say, but I'm just gonna say it, okay? I'm loving Starfield, but there's something holding it back right now from being... From the, the, the feeling I get of, like, whoa. And I think that thing is... Baldur's Gate just came out, and Baldur's Gate has kind of, like, ruined everything let me explain what i mean by that i'm in the dialogue of of this new game of starfield i'm in this dialogue and i'm talking and i'm like man the dialogue's just better in Baldur's gate and 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 i'm i'm picking choices in the dialogue and i'm like i have more choices and those choices feel more impactful in the dialogue the Starfield is doing the thing that Bethesda does where you start to notice like this is this answer this is this answer this is this answer I don't like anyone I guess I'll go with the first one because it's good Baldur's Gate doesn't do that and having just come off of beating Baldur's Gate and starting another run the Baldur's Gate dialogue scenes seem more fluid the the voice acting in Baldur's Gate is more fluid the way the characters talk to you is more fluid. The story in Baldur's Gate is more realistic. I'm in Starfield and five minutes in, the story's making my eyes roll. The main story. It's just like, you're the most important guy in the world. Go. You're everything. Go. Do everything. Everyone loves you. Everyone wants to work with you. Go, 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 go. And I'm like, uh, Shadow Hearts fluid. Bro, her fucking ass is a liquid. You know what I'm saying? Let me. I don't know what that was. But the point I'm making is. That is my biggest complaint, and what sucks is I don't think it would be a complaint if Baldur's Gate didn't just come out. Because Baldur's Gate has, like, changed my brain chemistry of Luna Rose! Thank you for the five. Baldur's Gate has changed my brain chemistry a little bit, I think. I play Bethesda games to feel like God special boy. Yeah. You just said you're, you're describing a Bethesda game. No, I know. That's why I'm saying I think I've been changed by Baldur's Gate. Because... The, the storytelling in Baldur's Gate, the, the dialogue, it's, I'll be honest, it's mostly the way dialogue scenes are, are shown to the character, to the player, and the options I have, they're just so much better in Baldur's Gate. It's oh, hard. Best boy. It's hard to go back. Now, everything else I'm loving about Starfield, though, it's really fun. It's a completely different game. I'm love, I actually like the shooting. Um, the, 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 the perk tree is insane. I don't know. Should I play Starfield before Baldur's Gate? Yeah, I think I would. I actually think I would. Yeah. I don't know. I would. Because I think that after you play Baldur's Gate, I was literally playing Baldur's Gate up until 5 p.m. And then at 5 p.m. I switched this over. This is pretty much what all those game devs were complaining about when Baldur's Gate came out. They were freaking out about having to compare to it. And I'm not comparing it one-to-one -one because I understand they're different games and it might be easier for Baldur's Gate to have better dialogue when they didn't have to build a whole shooting open world type, I don't know, right? But the reality is it's impossible to not compare. How do I not compare? I'm playing it. How do I not compare? I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there. So your CS2 review? Oh, it's fucking perfect. It's immaculate. It's beautiful. It's everything it should have been. I'm, 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 CS2 is going to be the game. If you're not on Counter-Strike, what the fuck? If you're not playing Counter-Strike at this point, you're behind. You're, 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 you're missing out. Anyone who's still playing Valorant and in, in come when the full release of CS comes out, you're so behind. You are missing the game. You are preparing for the wrong shooter. You are behind. You are not... CS2 is... Everything. What if I haven't played Elden Ring yet? Either which one first? Elden Ring is not even comparable, in my opinion. Totally different game. Totally different itch to scratch. It's been a long time since I've been here. I don't know if you remember by the days we came back. In. Yes, hi, hello. Of course I do. Um, Ao got two K hours in it. Been waiting for CS2 to release. CS2 to release to from. Uh, I've been waiting for CS2 to release to switch from Valve. There you go. Good. Now's the time. We can show. See, that's what I was gonna ask you guys. I have CS2 and I could play it on stream. It's not really the vibe, right? But 
I got it. I could play it on stream or we could watch the dating love show. It's hard to say, right? It, whatever you guys want to do, but I have it. I'd at least see us go after five years of pretending I don't fucking hate it. Well, if you hate it, then you hate it, right? You, if you hate it, you hate it. Put up a poll. We can put up a poll. I'm curious. Although polls never go, go well. They don't ever go well, do they? One game and one case. I'd do that. The CS2 have a release date probably in the next month. Anyway, I recommend Starfield. I think it's really good. I think it's great even at this point. And if it continues being this good, I will end it by saying, yeah, it's probably an eight and a half, maybe a nine out of 10. If it gets me emotionally, it'll go to a nine, but it's great. But man, Baldur's Gate 3 is just, fuck me, dude. I ain't ever seen dialogue like that and like decisions like that ever, ever, bro. Buy me Baldur's Gate 3? Bro, you go, what do you mean? Go buy it. The voice acting, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wait for a sale on Starfield because I couldn't get my hands on that $300 edition. Fair, well, yeah, it's fine. Fair enough. Uh, were you happy with the ending of Baldur's Gate 3? I was a bit disappointed. Ah, <sighs> chat, yeah, yeah. I mean, can we talk about it? I, I won't spoil it, but like, I couldn't tell if I was unhappy with the way Baldur's Gate 3 ended or I just wanted more, which I don't know which it is. No spoilers, no spoilers. I'll speak very vague here and don't worry. It, it's, it's, it's like, it's over. And then you just kind of sit there and you're like, now what? Okay, I'm gonna give minor spoilers here. Okay, so you can you can tune out if you want, but I, I truly don't believe this is a spoiler, but I know people are very sensitive. I don't believe this is a spoiler. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't believe this is a spoiler, but I know people get sensitive. Here it is. Actually, this isn't a spoiler. Tell these people to unmute. This is not a spoiler at all. I, I'm, I'm putting my foot down. This is not even close to a spoiler. I don't like video games that end and when it's over and the credits are done rolling, you just get put back to the menu. And if you want to play again, you just play a previous save. I fucking hate that. I hate that. I hate that. It makes me feel so blue balled. And unfortunately that's this game. Um, I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm not saying I need new game plus. I'm not saying I need any, I'm not going to say what I need. I just, I feel so like frozen in time, like my characters or you know, I'm not going to say comment on anything. The people in the world, I have no closure on. It is, it's just like, everybody is frozen on that save of right before the ending. And I hate that. And and I know you, you might be thinking, Wubby, I haven't beaten the game. Does this mean you live? Does it, I'm not making any commentary on any ending. Video games in general that end and then it just goes back to the last save when you hit continue again. I hate that. It, it, I feel so blue balled. Mikiha, thank you, brother. What was the polls results? I didn't see because now Mikiha is totally blocking it. Oh, there it is. Down with love. I'm down with love. Um, it needs end scenes to provide closure. I, even, not even end scenes. I just want to. Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption Two has the best closure. Basically, That's sounds all I'm like say. Sopranos ending. Up. I hate it. I, I feel so blue balled when that happens. Um, also, me sub. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Anyway, I mean. Overall, yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, the ending left a little okay, to so be... in your honest opinion, what would you rate BG3? Even with the ending as it is, I feel personally like the game is a 10. In yeah. fact, if the ending was different, I'd put it above a 10. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to say. I think Baldur's Gate 3 is a 9.5. Closer to a 10 than a 9. It's a 9.5. It's probably tied for the highest rated video game I've ever played. You can't give it a 10. I'm sorry. If you're giving it a 10, you're, you're, you're a little bit, you have blinders on. I'll explain. It doesn't deserve a 10. It has issues. It has bugs on release. It had hella bugs. Fuck. Even the ending cutscenes. Some of them are so buggy. I'm like, and I don't care. 9.5, but a 10 game wouldn't have those, right? 10 is perfection, right? But 9.5 is right there. That is as close to perfection as you could possibly get. It was... I mean, it was, it was, it was, what game is it? 10? I don't know. That's hard to say. That's really hard to say. Maybe Elden Ring. Maybe. Because that game shipped ready to go. Um, I don't know though. It's tough to say. What is a 10? I don't know. I don't know. It's really hard to say. I think a 10 is going to come down to like 
personal nostalgia. I'd probably be blinded by some stupid thing too, to be honest. But Baldur's Gate 3 is is it is is the only thing that held it back from a 10 was the ending was a little weak to me and a lot of bugs. I mean, there were I'm gonna be honest, there were times where bugs caused me to reload a save, and that's unacceptable, right? But 9.5 is damn near perfect, right? And in 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 I guarantee in one to one to three years, Baldur's Gate will be above a 10. With all I, I'm playing a modded version now. I'm playing with mods now. All my bitches are titties out, hella armor, hella spells, tits everywhere, all these crazy things, cool customizations out the wazoo, right? And in I guarantee in a couple years there's gonna be full campaigns that people made because they're supporting the mods and stuff. Baldur's Gate's gonna be a 12 out of 10 soon. But right now, you gotta judge the game that's in your hands, 9.5. I mean, it's 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 perfect. Is Baldur's Gate better on controller? I don't know how it could be when you get to high level shit. When you're level 12 and you got four layers of spells, how the fuck could it be better on controller? That's crazy. To be fair, 90% of the bugs have been patched in the first two patches. No, see, I beat the game uh, and none of the patches fixed my Have you tried Armored Core 6 yet, big boy? I no, bet it I will haven't. make you come in your pants. <gasps> I... I here's my thing with the bugs chat here's the problem with the bugs that i experience when i'm having an emotional moment in the story in the cutscene, and like my character is just bugging out or like my clothes like my character's over here and my clothes are glitching here not, not necessarily that but like or like something big is happening on the screen and i'm th seeing things one at a time pop in i can't give that a 10 i there were multiple times where something was supposed to be emotional and i'm like what are you guys standing on? <laughs> what are you guys standing on? You're not standing on anything. What is, oh, there it is. And that's dumb. And I can't, you know, you have to look at that. I gotta piss. I gotta piss like a pisser. Love you, Wubs. Hey, a 9.5 is incredible, chat, okay? Miss you, Wubs, XOXO. 46 months. How much longer do I have to watch stream before I become a hater? Wubby seven, 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 wubby seven. Boating. Boating. Oh man, I'm so fucked for Oppenheimer. How long did I make it, bro? Thank you for being an amazing person. Your content is awesome because your content is you. 16 month kiss kiss. Did I make it three hours? Pog. So how long is it? I've only made it two hours here. Oh, I'm not going to make it, bro. I'm not going to make Yo, it through oh, off oh, the timer, oh. bro. Are you kidding me? I'm going to just dehydrate. Over a year, baby. I'm just going to dehydrate. 21 months happy, Zip. Thank you. Zip. Bring a Gatorade ball and just piss into it. The only bug that infuriated me was uh, the one where dialogue options wouldn't appear and it would just say continue and would pick the... Dude, what? Oh, that is brutal. Also, you know what I'm going to say too? That's like, again, not fair to compare, but I don't know what to do. The persuasion in, um, in, the, uh, in Starfield is really cool. I like how the new persuasion system works. But you know what's more fun? Watching a big D20 roll on my screen. Man, and it's like, of course Starfield can incorporate that. Of course they can't. That would be ridiculous. It wouldn't make any sense why they would incorporate that, but it's still more fun. Like, fuck, it just is, dude. Starfield is a hard seven for me right now. It's a it's a soft eight for me, and it could get better. Dice rolls were addictive. Yeah, yep. Big dice go burr. I can't begrudge Ball Gate 3 for bugs, though, since the game is so massive it's and so many permutations. Just use Fair. a catheter. That's horrible. Um, no, but there's more, there's more than just the bugs that I had problems with, but I mean, this would be, no, this isn't a spoiler either. Okay. I'll say this. You guys want like another thing I had really the biggest issue for me was the ending, it, you know, like almost every game I've ever played ever the ending oh, kind of tripped a little stumble. Oh, you know, that, that, that's, that's, I'm sorry, but that's, and also this is a limitation of the game, but I really wish they would have considered that. 
At the end of the game, I got a lot of conclusions to a lot of stories, right? Of course, as you do at the ending. And some of them, there was this awkward moment of, who the fuck are you? Why, do, why is this playing? You were never in my party. Who the fuck are you? That happened a couple times. And I went, why are you, what? stop spoiling. I'm not spoiling anything, bro. I'm not spoiling anything right now. I'm sorry. If this is spoilers to you, you are not well adjusted. I'm not spoiling anything. I'm saying at the end of the game, there were a couple of conclusions to stories where I'm like, I never, we never spoke. My, our characters interacted when we met and that is it. And that was a little weird. And I know, I know that that's part of it. I know that's what happens. Hashtag my goblin. That's very much spoiling shit. What am I, who am I talking about? What am I talking about? Go ahead. If I'm, spo that radio show, if I spoiled something, tell me, DM me right now what I've spoiled. You have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. In a recent patch, they added new scenes. I know exactly what I'm saying. In like a year to two, this game's probably going to be beyond a 10, right? Wait, the game ends. I know. I know. Uh, if you don't know, if you know, then it's not a spoiler. For people who don't know, they have no clue what I'm talking about right now. Um, and that's, you know, you'll know what I mean when I get to it. And it is what it is. Um, you didn't spoil it for me. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but still, okay, hold on. Wait, wait, let me check the sub and then I'll move on from the app and we'll move on from the app and don't forget. Oh God, what is this? <laughs> there's a man, there's a, there's a subreddit post. I'm going to remove it. So get your last chance to see it now. There's a man doing a backflip naked and his, <laughs> the, the photo is him in midair upside down. And his testicles look like a like a piece of gum stuck to his body. They're fully erect testicles, which if you don't know what I mean, you need to go look at this. You're going to pass on that one? You're going to want to see this. They're like, they, uh, I'm just going to remove it. Never mind. I'm not even going to give you the chance. Um, okay, that's that for that. Uh, do not forget, I'm going to keep reminding you so you have a chance to, okay? P.O. Box stream is the 15th. Friday the 15th coming up. That is, you have officially. That's not a backflip, Sonny's hanging from it. Wait, no, he's not. Wait, what? Oh my God. Oh my God, what? Bro is hanging from his balls. What? How? That's so impressive. Oh, it really looks like at any moment it could tear. He's hanging from it. Oh my God, I could have gone my whole life not being corrected. I thought this was an innocent man doing a backflip with a perfectly timed photo. Why did I look? I'm sorry. I can't, I'm, I'm staring now. Uh, that's not a backflip. It's, it's not. That man's hanging from his scrotum. I wish I could show you. There's two little cute emojis. Very, very not generously uh, placed. In fact, I don't know why they're there. They're covering just his asshole and just part of his testicles. I'm not really sure. You can see ever. I mean, this is full nudity. I don't know why these are here. Okay. All right. Uh, the 15th is peel box. You guys have plenty of time to send stuff in. Uh, my dad actually brought some peel box stuff today. So don't forget, you have two weeks. That's plenty of time. Amazon will deliver in two days. But if you want to make something very special, the cheapest shipping, you will still get it here with plenty of time to spare. Exclamation point PO in chat. We're going to open all of them on stream. Alex will be here. It'll be great. Uh, and then um, the 10th is media share. So if you have a fun media share, something you want to see, get it ready. You have just under two weeks. Check the subreddit for when piss during when to piss during Oppenheimer. There's a P... 48 minutes is the best time to be. So should I have alarms go off? <laughs> Bro, we're sitting there 48 minutes in. It's all quiet. And you just hear like the Samsung wake up alarm. I'm like, oh, sorry. There's an app. Nah, fuck, dude. Come on. What? I find that interesting. Here's the problem, though. 48 minutes in, I ain't got to pee. I'm, I'm, I do not have... Damn, that means for the next two hours and 12 minutes, it's nonstop must-see action. What the fuck? It's called piss maxing? Uh, first off, I love that. I find that very cool that somebody's done this. That shows me that I'm not the only one who hates this about movies. There's, a, there's an app that will vibrate. 
Should I try this and tell you guys how it goes? Now all my friends are gonna know 48 minutes. <laughs> That's actually so cool. It's really dumb. I, I, if you guys can't tell, I hate it and I love it at the same time. Just do it. It's called run pee. There's an app that tells you when to pee and what happens during the pee. That is so goaded. Wait, how much time are they allocating for a pee though? What? Oh my God, that's so, that's so cool. I'm gonna start doing what? Two to three minutes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's called, what's it called? What's it called exactly? Shit maxing. <laughs> run pee. Okay, hold on. I will give you guys my run pee review during the cooking stream with my dad. Run pee, there it is. Uh, my bladder thanks you so... Here's a review from Michael. Here's a review from Michael. My bladder thanks you so much. App works great for telling you when and for how long you have to pee. There you go. Got this back when I was pregnant. Okay, that's a little embarrassing. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, probably a lot of pregnant women using this shit. All right. Thanks, Michael. Attaboy, Michael. I know, see, Peanut, I know for a fact my boy Peanut loves movie theaters, but I also know for a fact my boy Peanut has probably the smallest bladder out of any human being I've ever met. My boy Peanut could pee eight times in an hour, and when I even think twice about it. So, Peanut, how do you deal with this? First off, are you coming to the movie tomorrow? Are you are you coming to see Oppenheimer with us tomorrow? Yes, I am. Okay, Peanut. What are, what's your? I'm I'm not. This is not. Wubby needs a run explosive diarrhea, bro. I don't need a timer for that. My body tells me when it's time. Peanut, genuine question for you. Not calling you out as a man who has. Uh, I, I, my bladder is bigger, but definitely I still don't like the feeling of having to pee. Peanut, what what are you gonna? What are you doing? I just go. He just, he he just said he said I'm just gonna go to the bathroom when I have to go. Man, that see that right there. That's the kind of like old man attitude I need to take. Oh, I missed two minutes. I don't care. They weren't important. Walk back in and to the person to your left, loudly go. Can you catch me up? I went to the I went to the restroom. Can you catch me up? Okay, thank you. Sit back down. Don't even don't even don't even sit when you ask. Stand in front of. Can you catch me up? Thank you. Sorry, I had to, I had to piss. <laughs> like, why are you talking louder than you normally do? What? It's a loud movie. Are there any non-American chat interested in the Oppenheimer movie? Bro, you know, son, you and I both know the real moneymaker would be an app that tells you where the best places to take a shit in public are. Oh my god, bro. There is. It's not that good, though. I'm telling you right now, I... <sighs> I need that. Can I tell you a business model that needs to happen? I don't know if this is real, but this is what I this is what I would want. Okay, if you live in a downtown area, there should be an app that's called like "Let Me Poop at Your House." Let me poop in your apartment. You rent out your bathroom for ten bucks, whatever it is, right? Because who there is no price on not shitting your pants, right? So hear me out. Here's my idea. It wouldn't work in like residential areas. Uh, far away from from city centers, but like you know, let's say you're in downtown LA, which happens, you find yourself bar hopping in downtown LA, right? You should okay. What you set the price, you set your own price, right? You book it, okay? Boom, it, air air poop be air. What are you? You're trying to think of a name, okay? Listen, air p and p, air poop and p. <laughs> so you you book it, right? And let's say you book it for the night. Or you book it by the minute, whatever. I don't know how it would work, right? But you pull it up on your phone. Because I've been in this situation before. I'm downtown. I'm about to shit my pants. What are my options? Look for a corner. Pray a bar will let me. If it's past two, pray you make it home. So here's what you do. You're there downtown. Oh, I'm starting to feel like I got to poop. You pull up Airbnb. You pull it up. Bathrooms near me within walking distance, right? Oh, here's one right here. 25 bucks. Oh, it's kind of expensive, but I'm going to shit my pants. So I got to do it. Click it. Boom. Book. It notifies the guy. He now has 60 seconds if he wants to get paid to get you into his house. This idea is falling apart at this part. I'm really Further right now. Your shit star rating is based on scent, noise, and size. Okay. This, this, this is, it's actually, it's, it's falling apart because I'm realizing what if that guy isn't awake at 2 a.m.? Oh man. Air poop and pee may not work. Because I'm realizing if, if you, if, oh, he's not going to be ready for it. 
at all. A lot of home invasions about to happen. <laughs> Maybe you have to go through like a whole process to get approved. I'm just here's I guess here's what I'm saying, right? I walk up to a to a bar, right? And I go, please, I'm so parched. I need water. They'll oh wait, no, they won't. They'll turn people away. Wow, humans suck. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say that they would give you water. Instead of drop me a pin, drop me a log. They wouldn't do that actually. Never mind. Homeless people can't just walk in and get water. So never mind. I'm wrong. Uh, never mind. McDonald's does? No, but like, I feel like using the bathroom is a basic human need. Like, genuinely, I really do. And yet, I think everybody in this chat has found themselves fighting with somebody at some point in their life or knows somebody who's fought with someone at some point in their life to use a public restroom. I can't believe it. Like, I've had to argue to McDonald's employees. I'm like, point, go ahead, point. Which, which table here do you want me to fucking diarrhea on then, bro? Like, what's wrong with you? What do you think I am? I'm going to go inject in there? Bro, I'm about to shit my fucking pants, and every word out of my mouth is making it closer to happening. Why do, why did they go, table two, they, they hand you a little thing. Money helps? Oh my God, I've thrown, dude, I've ordered, and as I'm ordering, I've walked to the bathroom. It's, it's, uh, look at them in the eyes and shit yourself. I, I can't do that, man. In Arizona, it's illegal for a business to deny anyone free water if they are reasonably able to provide it. That's fair. I hear that, but like that should be the case with bathrooms too. I think bathrooms. I went. I remember during the um, during the food challenge, we went to that. Uh, was it Arby's or whatever? And the dude was. I asked him if I can use the bathroom, and he's like, "Paying customers only." We have homeless people that go in there to sleep, and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, "Do I look like a homeless person who's about to go to sleep? Like, can you not tell the difference between there a man on the edge?" There better be free Wi-Fi and the password <laughs> taped to the back of the door for when I'm driving out the prairie dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so you're into the air poop and pee just walk past the employees and go to the bathroom a lot of fast food joints have bathrooms with codes keys you can't just walk in brother damn they forgot you were the burger guy what's that mean i use discretion at my shop but then again it's a vape shop in vegas oh my god yeah i guess i can see it from your perspective a vape shop in vegas ain't nobody pooping in there nobody bro they thought of it already yeah they did take all their sauce i just i guess what i'm saying is okay before we move on i guess what i'm saying is it's never gotten to that point but i'd never understand why people play with that fire why do customer service you know jack-in-the-box employees play with the fire of my asshole why i have been denied bathroom usage before i have i've gone into places and they have said no and i i I have never been denied at a point where I'm about to shit my pants. I have been told yes at that point, right? But I have been, hey, can I use your bathroom? I really gotta go. And I have people say, no, no, it's, we have no public bathroom. I cannot understand what the, like, if I was at that point and somebody said, no, I'm pooping on the floor. I've never, I, dude, I had my friend, I'll just say it was DJ, DJ of, of Maya Danny lore told me one time he was driving by my house he was he was out doing errands and he happened to be near my house and he told me he was about to fucking shit his pants like it was bad and he he told me later he's like i was wrestling with the idea of just showing up to your house and calling you being like let me in i'm gonna poop and you know what i told him i, told Wubby, him you I love you but you have shared stories of destroying toilets unexpectedly <laughs> they then have to clean that up deep fuck that I'm going to finish now. Okay. Um, DJ told me, he's like, I was this close to just driving towards your house, calling you and begging for you to let me in. You know what I told him? I, and I said this to all my friends. This is a message to all my friends. If you're ever in a situation where you got to poo in my bathroom is the closest. Okay. Shit your fucking car and lose my number. Do not ever think you. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I like it brings me so much joy knowing that you would poop in my house. That makes me so happy. The problem is people don't clean up after themselves in public bathrooms, never mind private bathrooms. I can't count on both hands the number of times I've had to clean up shit when I worked retail. People okay, are filthy. What? You know what, though? Here's what I'll say to that. I have a response to that. Okay, here's what I'll say. I think we should have a new system then. That's, here's what, we should have a new system in place. And I, I, I'm going to create, I'm going to grow the economy right now. I'm going to grow the economy. 
right now. Watch and learn, idiots. Watch this. Here we go. Inst okay. People don't take care of themselves. Fine. We have something now called bathroom security in every bathroom in the United States. After you're done with your business, they make you stand there and they go inspect the stall. And if you've made a mess, you cannot leave under threat of getting arrested unless you clean it up. Done. I'm okay with that. I'm so... If that means I can use pi private bathrooms now, great. 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 And that poor bathroom attendant has to smell everybody's poop. But you know what? Fine. Fine. I don't care anymore. Let me poop. I'm tired of being told no. <laughs> well, if you just saved the economy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Police state bathrooms? Well, you're right. People can't self-regulate in those fucking bathrooms. And you know what I learned about way too late in life? Dudes leave bathrooms covered in piss, covered in shit. You know what I learned late in life from, from, a, from a woman I was dating that she told me that this was a possibility I didn't even consider? In the ladies' room, blood is also a Fun thing fish, that happens all the time. shit all over a bathroom and I its couldn't believe it. gave them $12 to well, make up for it. I couldn't believe these women were like, what, like, oh my God, what is going on in there? What is going on in there? I mean, I know what's going on in there, but it's something I never even thought of, right? And that is like, what? And and I'm, ladies, you go in there and bitches be bleeding and then they go, this is someone's problem, but it's not mine. Listen, I've had some crazy explosions in the bathroom, right? And there were times where I'm like, I don't have the equipment to deal with this. I'm sorry. I'll leave money. I have to go, right? Who the fuck be blowing out blood like a, like a, like a goddamn blowhole? Fuck, like it just, it just walks away. Women's bathrooms are worse than men. See, that's I did not know that until I was in my 20s, bro. Okay, son, Ooh. change of plans. We can take a note from my book and transition this business model from private and public bathrooms to the best parking garages and which spots have the least splashback east. You know what I think we just need more of instead? Like, genuinely, what would solve this? More public restrooms that are just available. Like, like, like I saw those bathrooms online that, like, spray themselves down when they're done. Have you seen those? Like, there's just not a lot of places for people to shit unless you're a customer. Bathroom cops, ACAB. <laughs> They're not bathroom cops. Wubby, I cleaned public toilets for a year in Florida. We had a woman who would stand on the handicap rails and shit on the flushing mechanism on purpose. We <laughs> called her the mad shitter. Okay, but see, in my police state that I'm, that I'm pitching here to you guys, those people will be r uh, gathered up and just and killed. They would be thrown off a cliff. That's, it, it, that's what I would propose. And you know what? I'm just going to say, for the good of society, I'm sorry. I'm just going to call it out right now. And you can, you can, you can call and D me all you want. I'm, I'm here for society right now, okay? If you are pooping, if you are pooping on the flusher, as a choice, you are a menace to society. You are legitimately engaging in chemical warfare, and you need to be dealt with the only way I can reasonably think of, which is death on the spot. Ham said, I rolled the dice and drank Could coffee. Could you imagine Poseidon's oh, kiss in someone else's home? I would freak out. I wouldn't mind. Uh, dude, what, you don't understand. All of those things go out the window when you're there. I'm going to read Ham's message now. I rolled the dice and drank a coffee with my spam egg and cheese sandwich on the way out last week. This is not, this, I'm going to stop you right there. That is crazy. You drank a coffee knowing you'd have to take public transportation after consuming a spam egg and cheese sandwich. And I'm assuming too, this is in the morning. I'm most volatile in the morning or rather when I first wake up, I'm very volatile. I'm pretty safe at night. I'm pretty good at night. Usually was on my way to a thing in Washington square park, but had to shit so bad by the time I hit in Manhattan on the F train. That I waddled off the train at Rockefeller Plaza to take a shit out of five guys. <laughs> oh, God. I had a family knocking on the door while I was shit in there. Public restrooms in New York are awful. Bro, I'm pretty sure New York doesn't need more public restrooms. They just have something called the street. They just have something called the outdoors. <laughs> Down to four guys now. Look, at this is what I was referring. Um, look at this. Okay, we're dude. Literally, actual Hassan moment right now. We're watching the news. The space age looking pod is the newest feature on San Francisco's Embarcadero, but it's not a new art piece. Uh, it's a new self clean. Why does this woman sound AI generated the way she's talking? This straight up sounds like TTS. Listen to this. Take a look at this. New space age looking pod is the newest feature on San Francisco's Embarcadero, but it's not a new art piece. Uh, it's a. Bro, sounds literally like the shit you guys are donating. Not a new art piece. Self-cleaning public toilet. And as NBC Bay Area said, Hio Quintana tells us, you can expect to see... Bro, 
some there is some dude at this news station who just spent the last 40 minutes making this graphic news is so who's watching this shit now dude more of them across the city in the months ahead the ovular metallic pod is a curiosity for san francisco residents out on their daily <laughs> journey. is this like a snow is this what a slow news day looks like all right, send the crew out. I want you to film people's genuine reactions to this shit. Go for it. Go get out. In your Dogs society, in what would happen to a man who shit all over the toilet and rather than clean it up, they put $12 on the toilet and just fucking left? Okay, huh? so that, that wouldn't what happen. What would you do, in my, Wubby? That, I'll tell you, motherfucker, that wouldn't happen in my society. And let me explain. In public bathrooms, okay, we're creating jobs, but we're also creating economy flows right here. And if you don't know what that is, take an economic class, okay? Economy flows here. So in the bathroom, accessible to the public, but only the public when needed, and you can't steal it because remember, there's a, there's a bathroom cop in there, okay? In the bathroom now, there will be everything you need to clean up your own mess. In fact, I have no problem cleaning up my own shit mess that I've made if I had the tools to do it. I have tissue paper, and I sprayed a wall, bro. I tried cleaning it, and you know what I did? I ended up fucking finger painting, okay? If there was an attendant there, and, and like, here's gloves, here's some sprays, here's some wipes, it would be clean, and I, would have, I wouldn't even mind. I'd be like, thank you. I don't have to leave this embarrassing mess for some 19-year-old kid to clean up and $12, right? <laughs> stop, Wubby. Stop, 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 stop. Why? What do you mean Stop. This is such a good idea. See, this one we are designed to be modern and sleek, but they're also designed to withstand the challenges of an urban environment. Uh, what is that supposed uh, to be? Well, well, these well, live on the street and they do reality. get graffiti on them and th things like that. So it's stainless steel that's easily cleanable. And this is the reality is, is that if I was the only human on this planet and it was just a, billions of wubbies running around, this would be a fucking bathroom utopia. No one would ever have to run to the bathroom ever again. There would be, we'd be walking around with Economy's bathrooms. Flow and the poop accelerates. Yeah, at least I flush three or four times to see if it will clean itself. Bro, you can't, flushing doesn't clean what's on the back wall. Okay, how do, what do you, how do you think toilets work, dude? Can we move on? <laughs> you know, I have these moments where I'm like ranting. I'm not paying attention to anything, but just talking to chat. And then I take a step back and I go, what time is it? What have we been doing this whole time? Sorry, this has been a, bro, this has been a Japanese stream. And you know what? Take a look at I, this. New space age looking pod is the newest feature on San Francisco's Embarcadero, like but it. it's not a new art piece. Uh, it's a new self-cleaning public toilet. <laughs> That's so public weird. Public bathrooms dude. are where the social contract is null and void. You can murder someone in the bathroom and have a higher chance of getting away with it if you tell the judge you were gopher holing that. <laughs> I don't agree with that though. That's the thing. We all agree that toilets are like everyone needs it, but nobody's empathetic to it. This is literally side questing himself. I am side questing myself. I'm so sorry. Well, it's Sunday. I'm not going to be able to talk to you guys at all. Sunday is cooking with I my found dad. Sex toys in the bathrooms I've cleaned. Thought I found part of a body when I opened a trash bag and saw a soft flesh tone object. Oh my god! Why would I you have trained my it? bladder to hold while shitting so I can power wash the back wall? <laughs> What the fuck? That is so weird. <laughs> Toilet Utopia sounds great. Dude, I guess, like, listen, okay, we gotta move on. I'm sorry, I'm so way too deep to this. I should, we should not have talked about this. No, okay, I have one last thing I wanna say about it, actually. I do, I just have to say this one last thing. Okay, here's the thing, though, right? Everyone acts like it's it's so normal. Any chance for Down for Love tonight? Yeah, we'll, we'll watch I pay it money this. Be I, I, I yapped too much, I really did, and I'm sorry I did that to you guys. Okay. Everyone has to shit sometimes so bad you're not going to make it, right? Everyone has to. Yet, if I'm at the back of the plane and I stand up when it when it lands and I stand up and go, I have to shit! Everybody move, please! You know what people would do? Maybe four people would turn around and go, oh, okay, oh, yeah, sure. But half the fucking plane would do this. Not They would barely even care, dude. Yet everyone knows, everyone standing blocking the aisle knows, everyone knows that they've been in that situation before. They go, yeah, I have to shit too at some point. Get in line. They're too busy flying. <laughs> yes, dude, they're planing. Tana Mongoose found a dead body in a public bathroom near the beach. That's fucking scary, dude. 
I enjoy hearing you yap, to be honest, probably because I've agreed with everything you've said tonight. Oh no. That's that means you're doing something wrong. I even even though it's my opinions, if you've agreed with everything I've said. Oh boy. Yikes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Tana recorded it. What? She filmed a body. Wait. Tana Mojo filmed a dead body before Logan Paul did? And she posted it? No shot. How is Am I like very late to this? <laughs> it was on YouTube? What? Man, I'm out the game, bro. Google it. I'm good. We're just gonna move past it. What happened? We've all done it once, friends. Yeah, I mean, who hasn't filmed a dead body? You hear about I'm gonna I'm gonna get the show up, but have you guys you guys see that like story? I forget what it was, but it was like I forget when it was. These girls found a body like in an underpass the area. Authority of the world oh, shut up, One Piece. Uh, these girls found a body in, like in an underpass area and then they robbed him. He was like wearing a ring and a necklace and they were like, ooh, ooh. Like that is, uh, you remember that shit? It's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, they looted. They straight up, <laughs> who forgot to loot this? <laughs> They straight up looted his ass. Yeah, that shit's crazy to me. All right. Um, very normal behavior. I can't even imagine. Oh, don't ignore that sound. I don't know what that was. I got a bad cough. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a really bad cough going on. <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go. There it is again. Okay, you probably didn't hear that one. Very low. I remember that chick. She was caught wearing the necklace. Yeah. Bro, I, couldn't, I can't even imagine. Not even... Fuck the morality of it. Just the... I'm so much of a germaphobe. If I saw a body, I would feel like I needed a shower, even if it didn't physically come in contact with it in any way. In any way. My bad. I was tuning my drums. <laughs> what the fuck does tuning a drum mean? You wore human poop as a necklace. You don't know that was human poop. You have no way of knowing that was human poop. You have no way of knowing that was human poop. You have no way of knowing that was human poop. All right. I kind of yapped myself out of playing CS tonight, but that's okay because we can watch this instead. Hey, Wubby, sorry about throwing you into a tangent with the business model for an awful app idea, but, <laughs> but I had an awful day at work and this just made it all okay. Thanks Good. for the 20 minutes of hilarious yapping. Thank you, man. 20 minutes, bro. It's been like two and a half hours. I, I, I feel like any chance of this string grave being... robbing is simply the precursor to modern day catalytic converter theft what <sighs> it's fine though i can justify it with uh with with what we're doing on sunday all right it felt like 20 minutes oh you're cute all right chat jump scare actually i can't now switch to the scene so we're just gonna wait till you guys forgot i said that uh so i have to wait now a couple minutes <laughs> Bro, the intrusive thoughts are winning a lot more than, than they used to. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, jump scare. Here's the jump scare. It was me. <clears throat> when does grave robbing turn into archaeology? Man, that is such a good question. When does grave robbing turn into... You know my grandpa, the one I showed you, who... Um, who uh, makes racist jokes, but also learns about technology. Do you know he's a he's um, a grave robber? <laughs> you know he's an archaeologist. I'm not even lying. Or we know, no, not archaeologist. He's um, I almost said dinosaur just now, but he's not a dinosaur. He's um, what do they call him? Where they look at pollen and shit? What do they call him? Racist? <laughs> no, not a. Is it pa a paleontologist? He's a paleontologist. He looks at like old pollen and shit. He's oh, I'm sorry. He's a bee. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, chat's a, Oh, he's a... Oh, I'm sorry. He's a Polynesian. Thank you. Yes. Are those the dudes with the with the tongues? Good one, chat. What is he... What What is it actually, though? It's definitely not... Definitely... Okay, I know it's not a... He's not a bee. I've met the man before. He's a botanist? The fuck? What is this Harry Potter shit, Bro. Bro. Oh, there it is. Okay, he might be a polygon. Can we move on? Can we just move on? Okay. <laughs> He's a geographist? 
Is he yellow and is his name Barry? Huh? Does he like jazz? Why do you, what are you guys doing? He's an herb man. <laughs> Paleobotanist. I'm Googling this. I'll just call my grandpa on his brand new state-of-the-art Motorola Razor flip phone. Paleobotany is the scientific study of ancient plants using... No, 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 he didn't look at plants. The study of ancient pollen. Bro, imagine my, um, my excitement when my grandpa... Uh, wants to show little nine-year-old Wubby some fucking ancient pollen and tell me about how this civilization fell apart because this pollen looks like this. Like, holy shit, I couldn't be more excited. Did you snort it? I said, give me that pollen. Uh, I looked it up. It's called paleo... That's <laughs> oh, that thing you guys said. But what, what's anthropology? Anthropology. Is the study of human origin... Through ancient civilizations. Maybe that's what he did. Where the fuck did I get the word pollen from then? My grandpa did some shit with pollen, dude. I swear to God. He ate it or something. Maybe he... What did he do with pollen? He did something with pollen. <laughs> I don't even know what pollen really is. I really don't know. Bro, chat's having a field day right now. It's so funny. <laughs> you guys are being so funny right now. Maybe he used to take it and he... Sp Maybe he used to take it and spread it on flowers so they can bloom. Ash, I feel like you're you're back on the bee thing. I feel like you're saying he's a bee again. Ash, I feel like you're, you're back on the bee train of thought. He's not a bee. He's not a bee, Ash. I feel like you're back on the bee thing. <laughs> you might not have even realized it, but you're back on the bee thing. <laughs> Oh, he isn't a bee. No, I, I don't think he's a bee. <laughs> Dude is sounding. <laughs> Dude, it's sounding more and more like your grandpa might just be a bee. Well, what do you think about it? Oh, God. Okay, that was really funny. I'll be honest. You know what, chat? We have now set up a perfect conversation to have with my father. When I see him on Sunday for stream, we will ask him if my grandpa, what my grandpa does for a living. And then he's, my grandpa, my dad's going to answer. And, um, and, uh, we're going to get some, it's like your grandpa works at a gas station and I'm going to have this whole moment with myself. Is my grandpa a bee? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're done. Shut up. Cemetery stream. What? Ask him if your grandpa's would be. I will. Paula Possum. Thank you. Appreciate it. So is that how you have three grandfathers? Why? Because one of them was a bee? What? Pretty sure it's pale paleonology, the study of pollen and ancient shit. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hello. Whimsical music. You know what? This is a good, this is a good, um, this is a good wind down. Okay. I'm down to wind down with this. All right. Can we wind down with this? Who knows what this Can anyone guess what her name is before we even start? I'm in denial because I don't want to be part B. <laughs> Let the B stuff go. Her name's Laura. Sarah. Debbie. <laughs> My name is Lisa Shepherd and I'm 22 years old. Y'all thought, bro. For love? Yes, I am looking for love. What is love, Lisa? Love is an um, amazing thing you can do with your love hearts. Why do you want a boyfriend? So I can hang out. After that, he gave me a snuggle. And they're gonna like fetch some chips on the beach. We all want love, companionship, and affection. I don't care what to anybody says. First episode loved. was banger, bro. But I was so in. Person, it was so cute. It was easy. I think that girl's faking it, though. It's a deal as a princess. This series follows New Zealanders living with Down syndrome as they go on a series of dates. Oh, that's I right! I love guzzling and guessing. Bro secured the fucking bag. It, I could not believe it. He's got about 12. Exploring the ups and downs of romance. If the date goes wrong, I might like Ozzy Osbourne. cry. I saw, the well, this is just playing the intro. I saw a video of Ozzy Osbourne, like, as of today, just the other day. And Ozzy is not looking good. I'm going to keep it a buck, man. I I think he's... I 
How is he still alive? I'm gonna be honest. The only answer I have for that is, is he alive? Dude's old as fuck. Nah, nah, but I knew it a late. There was a lady who lived in my apartment complex when I was a kid. Her name was Marie. Uh, bitch was like 90 years old for like 30 years. And she always, she just stayed active. That's how she stayed alive, right? Bitch could move, right? If she, st if she did the worm one day, I wouldn't even be surprised, right? Ozzy Osbourne is not even that age yet. And man looks like, I mean, it's scary. Man looks, that's a good word for it. Man looks preserved. Like, 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 what's that shit that you, that, that a frog is in when you, when you dissect it and it smells like shit? Formaldehyde, is that what it's called? Man's like a pickle. <sighs> Sorry. Where are we? Okay, here we go. Lisa lives with her family on Auckland's North Shore. All these motherfuckers rich! Oh, is the yeah. cost of living in New Zealand just low? Family. My dad is treasure of love of my heart. Oh. And also over here is my gorgeous mother loves to cook. No, it's absurdly high. What? It's incredibly high. They're just rich, rich. Oh. Damn, didn't know that. And Did my not know brother that. Hunter is huggable and squeezable and also lovable. Damn, damn. She's so loving, like, oh my God. She is just such a delight, really. Oh. And also, I am very good at dancing and singing. Crazy in a really good way. <laughs> this bedroom is like a little mansion. Okay, I go one direction pillow. It's nice and... Huggable as well. And also, my toy cat. Okay, listen. <laughs> chat, some of y'all saying shit that is so out of the pocket. All right, here's the relationship I'm going to establish with you right now. All right. Let me set the tone for the jokes we're allowed to make. And then you can laugh. But some of y'all going crazy bananas. So much as I'm as I'm saying this, someone in chat goes, "I'd fuck her." Why? Why? It's amazing. And this is my baby picture. I, I love that she has that framed in her room. Because I'm always for my mom. Brenda was just 18 weeks pregnant with Liesel when she was told to expect the worst. The radiographer said there's something wrong with the baby's heart. And when you're told that your baby's not going to survive, and now she's 22, Damn. it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Do. And now that Liesl's come of age, she's keen to fulfill a long-held dream. <laughs> yes, I would love to have a boyfriend. I would love to see Liesl with a boyfriend. I think she would make somebody really happy. <laughs> she would always make them laugh, and they would always be having a great time. You can go to Bird. Pai here or Hakutaka. Hakutaka. My puppet man could be funny, generous, and kind. <laughs> Those are pirates. <laughs> and I would love him to treasure my heart. Right. Bye. Bye. Where am I going to go? I feel like maybe twice a year I'm gaslit into thinking that I, would, I want a bird. Because I'll see a, a shoulder bird. I'll watch an old JonTron video. And I go, I could do the whole bird thing, right? Gonna start banning abortion comments. Damn, sci-fi. Damn. I get gaslit into thinking I want a bird, like a pet bird, a shoulder bird, right? Yeah, no, I know. I'm using the term gaslit. I'm using this term correctly because what I'm saying is you look into it and then you realize they kind of suck. They just, like, you can't potty train a bird. They shit, they're loud, they bite. They never, I don't think for the most part, they even really understand things. You can. You guys are doing it, though. You're doing it right now, though. You're, you're, you're gaslighting me right now. There's no bird you can potty train. I've never seen a bird in a diaper. I don't know what you got. You're doing it right now. You can potty train birds. I did it with mine. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? They fly to poop? What? Yes, you can. What are you talking about? Google it. We haven't actively I don't tried believe to you. find her boyfriend. Like I haven't gone searching, <laughs> but and it's not easy because it's not a shop you can go and have a look at. No, <laughs> don't get a bird. My coworker but, um, has two birds no, in their, tricky, her whole world, but she tells me it's but insane. She definitely wants to have a boyfriend, yeah. and why not? Like, like training the, the shit in the cage. How? How the fuck do you talk to a bird? How do you train My name a... is Carlos Antonio. I just turned 30. I love Carlos Antonio! I have no children. 
It is not a disease. Whoa. Some people have it, some people don't. And that is what can be unique. Are you looking for love? Yes, I'm looking for love. I'm looking for someone to share a life with. I'm looking for love of a girl who is brilliant, intelligent. She loves me like the way I am. I know crows are smart. Just to feel loved. Man so is important. Eloquent, Carlos bro. lives with his parents on the Otago Peninsula. Very well Today, spoken. Today he's at the Chinese gardens with his mother Alicia. From the very first camera, I was hooked to photography. First camera's bigger than him, though. Let's be real. The beauty of his landscapes, mountains, rivers, skies. A beautiful Carlos. Carlos always said, I was born to be a photographer. He did an exhibition in Bolivia. I love he Carlos. He sold 26 pictures before uh, we opened the event. It was something that Carlos couldn't believe it. I see myself in 10 years' time working in Lonely Planet or in National Geographic as a photographer. I was born in Bolivia, in the city of... <laughs> chat, just some guy in chat just said, what the fuck? He doesn't have Down syndrome, he just has an accent. <laughs> They're like, oh, fuck, wait, oh, shit. La Paz. And we moved when I was 10 Bro years looks away. the same. Those years in Bolivia, I will treasure them forever. When Carlos was born 30 years ago, Alicia and Sergio knew virtually nothing about Down syndrome. It was hard to accept that something was wrong with him because I couldn't see anything wrong. He was perfect. Ugh. Those were not the days of, of asking Google. Uh, that doctor came with stories like, ah, oh, probably he's going to get the uh, mental age of someone eight years old. Nah, bro, went probably way he's past going that. to live only five years uh, and then whatever dies. And uh, I, 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 sorry if I'm a little cynical, I don't think the doctors really knew much about it. When I see, for example, all the things that he achieved in the 30 years now, it's amazing. So this is all my awards from Bolivia, from my London. Man. I have won two photography competitions. Hey Siri, is my child retarded? This one was from Dame Can't Jill Lynch. Those. Yo! I'm sorry, chat, but like, oh, wait, did I mute it all? Oh, I muted the wrong thing. Oh, shit. I muted the wrong thing. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. And damn, I was about to say, oh, my God. I was about to say something, too. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, no. I. Well, I can't say it because it makes me re look really stupid. I was about to say this guy is more accomplished and has his life together better than most chatters. And I'm sitting here. Watching the show alone. <laughs> I have won two photography this, okay. competitions. Regardless of my blunder, listen to what he this says. This was from Dame Judi Dench, who plays M in the James Bond movies. I write poems. Mm -hmm. I am an international swimmer. I speak Spanish, English, and Portuguese, German, and French. Okay, I'm calling B. Okay, but no, I didn't make it that far. I'm calling BS, bro. No way. No way this dude speaks five languages, bro. There's no way. But yeah, bro's a polyglot. Ain't no way, dude. Think Carlos is Why not? Why don't you think he does? I think I... Uh... Wubby, don't be ableist. No, I'm able to be ableist. And I, and I don't... I don't... I... I don't trust most people who say they can speak five languages. I just don't. I feel like people are a little fast and loose with, uh, with what they think speaking a language is. Okay, I'm just saying. All right, Google it. It's like a fraction of a percent of the world can speak uh, more than three languages, four languages, right? He said, he's, he said he spoke five languages. Like, what do you mean by speak then, though? 
Okay, not fluent. No, but when you say you can speak a language, there's a certain implication that you can comfortably hold a conversation, right? It's yet to achieve. Love. It is so important. He doesn't speak love. If you feel loved he by someone speak else, love. it's a wonderful experience. Well, An experience speak love. Carlos doesn't want to put off any longer. He's ready for love and whatever it takes to make that happen. It is a big challenge, but I'm willing to risk it. Let's go. Let's go, Since champ. Since in school, Liesl's run her own cosmetics business. It's gonna give you a nice, good clean. Oh. I love my job. Because it's the best thing I ever happened to me. That looks good, Liesl. Who else would like to have that done? Me. <laughs> Getting her a job with Nutramedics has launched her into an adult world. So she's instructing adults and she's helping all the people she meets. I hope you love this part. Yeah, it's no way. It's, it's is it really a pyramid scheme? Is she doing one of those? You're all done. <laughs> Some of the profits from Liesl's business have gone to charity, the rest to her prized possession, her spa pool. Oh, nice and warm. Oh, she bought a fucking jacuzzi, bro. I, ever got. I love this. Liesl loves it so much, she'd love to share it with someone special. If I have a boyfriend, I might invite him to my house and have a nice warm spa with some drinks. I gotta say though, there's not, there's, as someone who has a hot tub myself, there's not, not a worse look in the entire world than being stuck in the hot tub and the bubbles aren't on. It's just, it's never, I don't care who you are, it's not a good look. You get stuck looking like that, it's just not a good angle, not, anyone walks by and you're just there with the bubbles off and it's just. <sighs> Something to snack like sausage rolls or Cheerios Damn! and stuff. Damn! Sausage really rolls romantic. in the hot tub, bro? Okay, that's, that's, that's I'll good, dude. Think about to find a nice girl in the needy. It would be nice. It would be nice. But I think it's important for you to I know, mom, it, meet somebody. I, I know. And just to share some, you know, ideas and go to the movies <laughs> and uh, stuff like that. The view mom. that they have from their house is absurd. Sure, yeah. I'm looking for love of a girl who has a noble heart that we can buy you think it's rented? good friends. I think they're just rich. And we can be a wonderful couple. To kickstart Carlos's search for love, tomorrow he'll be venturing into an unexplored world of blind dating. I am jumping with glee and happiness, having to know that I will have a blind date tomorrow. I want to hear some of Carlos's German. Fingernails. Just to know how it's going to be like. I am not able to go into sleep tonight. Either I'm going to be thinking of this blind date and thinking how I'm going to <laughs> respond if she says hi. Jesus Christ, Lord. Stop saying he's fake in the chat. This boyfriend business. What sort of boy do you think you'd like, really? Um, my dream guy could be really romantic. Check. Oh, perfect. I like romantic too. Give us another. He give me love and also give me butterflies in my stomach. Oh, Check. Oh, that would be nice. To help Liesl in her search for love, she too will be going on her first blind date. My it's gotta be black. Date. Going out to to the picnic at the beach. Good and first we can date. have fish and chips on the beach. Solid. If you came back here, then what would you do? Go to the spa. Go and have a spa. And you can be my waitress. Oh, come oh. on. <laughs> Does she have a dead tooth or just something on her teeth? Cause that that was a I don't know if anyone caught that, but that wasn't that was a that wasn't a dead tooth. That was that was a that shit was mummified, bro. That was run it back. Okay, I'm gonna run it back. If you came back here, then what would you do? Go to the spa. Go and have a spa. And you can be my waitress. Oh come on. Oh. <laughs> sounds romantic, doesn't it? It sounds very romantic. I love that idea. So do I. That boy's well so I loved. To to uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> oh, you're funny. During okay. a successful okay. wine tasting date. Oh, it's so cute. 
updates? Josh and Libby experienced a strong ah! chemistry. Oh no, is this where we told they broke up? We are going to pursue vibing together. Loved her. She should... Oh my god, wouldn't she be so perfect with Carlos? I'm gossiping. Oh my god, I'm gossiping. Wouldn't she be so perfect with Carlos though? Good. Thank you. To see if the feelings are still there a week later. Oh god, not another day! Date. Bro, we're going to have to sit through another date of them. Oh, it's just... Oh, but this is what the people want. They this both is the love juice. dancing, so they'll be joining world champions Karen Hardy and Enrique Johns. How are you feeling this morning about your second date? I'm Enrique. going to fail. Yes! Made me feel enough and made me feel having a girlfriend. How are you feeling about to get much? down. He's a really cool guy. I'm going to be excited for today. I'm going to solve the session moves. Woo! All, all, everything aside. Man looks sharp. Man's got a fucking ass on him, too. Honestly. <laughs> he looks good. Well, hello again. Uh, like hello. a bat out of hell, dude. Hi, how are you? Oh! I had to rewind it. Well, hello again. Uh, hello. Hi, how are you? Mm. <gasps> 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 Ooh, Chris was a critical fumble. He didn't even do anything wrong. It's just, it's just that's, hey, listen, as someone with not Down syndrome, this is at some point in your life, this will happen, okay? It don't matter who you are. At some point in your life, you're going to go out for a kiss. It ain't going to be happening, but he made the right move. He backed off. He didn't make it weird. My move at this point, if I were him, is I would go, well, I would handshake and I'd be out that fucking door. Not because I feel obligated to a kiss, but because I am now the most embarrassed human being and I'm going to go kill myself. I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah, nat one. Let me roll the nat one. I'm out. Oh. Handle it like a pro yeah, though. Look crazy. at him. Oh, thank you. Well, you look yeah, really yeah. good as well. I'm really excited the to scatter. get in the cha-cha mood. <laughs> I can't awesome. believe they're working. Today, Josh and Libby will be getting the lowdown on a popular Latin American dance. It's a dance that comes from Cuba. It's called the cha-cha-cha. And it has some very, very simple steps. If you get the simple bit... This is the second date. We can add the magic at the end. What do you reckon? They met on I'm the first date. I'm <laughs> a, I'm a, I'm a You've got a little bit of dance experience. I don't to talk. Could you give us a demonstration? Come on, that's... It. Why are they going to... Of some of the moves that you can make? Now, Libby, any dance experience? Yeah, I've been dancing since I was 11 years old. I was in a dance trip for his boy. Oh, oh, gosh. So I think we're going to cancel everything we planned because yep. we thought they were absolute beginners. Mm -hmm. And we're going to upgrade it. So the. Oh, I like how she's talking. That's very cute. Very simple principle to learn about the cha cha cha. Step, step, Side together, side. Step, step, cha, cha, cha. Step, step, cha, cha, cha. So each time we step, it's going to be like riding a bicycle. Josh, are you showing off? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm liking your groove there, Libby. I'm very impressed by them. Like, I mean, the ability to pick something like that so quickly, especially not having really done cha, -cha beforehand, it's actually quite hard. Now, how about a bit of fun? This is when you get your solo moment. So let your arms go, and then let your hips go. Let them go. Not exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's, getting you know He's getting there. He's getting there. He's getting there, isn't he? Yeah, Joss is really funny. But will funny be enough to win <sighs> Libby's heart? Bro is doing it's too much. much. Yeah, but it's far too much. <laughs> I'm just watching. I'm enjoying. We now do our bit. We show our arms. Great. And can you roll a shoulder? Ooh, I can see you checking that out. <laughs> Josh is so fucking unbelievably horny. That would be... That's going to be crazy. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Now. Yeah, maybe it's a good time shot. Good, hold tight. 
Dirty dancing, down we go. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Don't worry, I've fallen over lots. Now, do you think you could get through that without us? We could try, can't we? Yeah, we could try, yeah. Over to you guys. Oh, they're in the audience. Oh, no. Two, three, four, and one. Step, step, cha, cha, cha. Step, step. I 100% loved the dancing. Do you still have feelings, Philippi? Yes. So much. How are you going to tell her that, Josh? I'm going to ask her. How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling awesome. Big explosion! Turn in! I do not know exactly what he thinks about me, but I do know that I only see him as a really good friend. Oh! We saw that coming, boys. I think we, I think the writing's done been on the wall. Yeah, it's it's Jover. Ooh, critical blunder. Ooh. Do you think you need to tell him that or not? No, I don't think I should tell him because I don't like to break too many oh, oh my god, she's already developing her bench. Holy shit! At all levels. Oh I my think god. it would be better like, coming from somebody else. Tell him it for me, so. She's like, man, I really hope somebody lets him down easy. <sighs> anyway, like, listen, I don't think she owes it to him to say anything. Whatever, right? What do you fucking owe him? But maybe stop going on dates. Yeah. You know? Tricky situation, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> like she doesn't owe him a sit down. Maybe I think that she should, but I don't think she owes him one. But like. Maybe don't go to dancing lessons with him then, you know? While Josh and Libby grapple with the difficulties she wants those free of dinners. unrequited love, Real. Liesl's full of optimism as she prepares to meet her blind date. Gonna be cool, eh? They hung out twice. So yeah, excited. exactly. Oh, yeah? Exactly. What do you think it'll be like? I think it's gonna be really fun. I think fun her and, if she's going with Carlos, do I think they, they think got some it's gonna good, be love at good first odds. Sight? Ooh, love at first sight, I'd love that. <laughs> Would ya? <you? laughs> yeah. Are you nervous? No. No? Awesome. If my boyfriend will pose to me, I will say, yes, I will marry you. And then we'll go to the honeymoon suite. What happens there? And then after that, have some kids. I'll be honest, I don't know if she's figured out what happens there. She just has the timeline down. And you look gorgeous. This is like you, mum. Hope you have a fabulous time. I boyfriend, will, mom. proposal, I honeymoon you. suite, you, children. <laughs> Jump in. Yeah. Liesl's 21-year-old date has also never had a relationship before. It's not Carlos. Carlos Ooh, is 30. Time to go. It's not Carlos. What? Yep. Oh my god. Yo. Ooh, whoa! <laughs> whoa. Before. Ooh, time to go. Good? Yep. Yo. Does this place is loud? You can come in. This dude's got energy. No neck, but I like his energy. I'm into him. <laughs> what does Pete and Booty say? This dude's my favorite. Good energy on him. Love to death. Not a neck in sight. Braden All torso. loves clothes, food, and romance. I love, dude. I love. He, love he seems fun. Toys. You cannot see it. You cannot feel it. But I tell you this: love is in the ear. Glasses. It's all about the sunglasses. Deals. Loves. I don't hide who we are. Sunglasses. Okay, you know the movies that Edgar Wright with the Simon Pegg. This dude is, I think his name is Nick Frost. I think his name is. The, 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 the chubby sidekick in every one of those, like in Hot Fuzz. And... <laughs> wow. Do you like my best clothing of the week? Oh, wow. she's gonna love Looks this great. guy, bro. Yes. Are you nervous, bro? Never. Oh my goodness. So your first date and there's no nerves? Nope. What, just excitement? 
So, Matt, cross. Um, I'm in the green zone, personally. Never. Well, looks like it might be time to finish getting ready. So go and sort your hair out, put on a bit of cologne, and then we better hit the road. Let's do it now, baby. Bro's got special needs wrists. Let me explain what I mean by that. This man has confidence that is it's almost like a superpower. Let me let me land before you think I'm insulting the man because I'm definitely not. This man has riz that is it is it is so powerful because it is so not held back by any sort of society standard, social standard. He has no fear. He is com it is unfiltered. Fearless riz is what this guy has. And you could only achieve that. I really you know? would like Brayden to find love. God damn! Sorry. I could be mean to her. She doesn't have Down syndrome. God damn, bro! Holy mother! And establishing a life Woo! for himself and a family for himself. Yes, ma'am. I said to myself that I wouldn't be single for you. Left field, yes, sir. He wants I love her in Queen. It's no matter Sorry. what you are ugly, cool, or bold, or anything. You still look beautiful no matter what. I, I hope he keeps this energy up on the date, though. I don't want him to shut Boy, down. Boy, I got that W Tiz energy. Liesl's invited Brayden to join her for a game of mini golf. It's Good day. She's a bit of an ace. Banger. At, so he'll have to bring his A game too. Banger. I thought they were going. I thought they were going to the fucking beach. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Where's the fish and chips? Yo, look at him. Look at him rolling up. He knows he's cool. Hi. Hi. My name's Brayden. My name what? is Liesl. Nice name. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm obsessed with Brayden. I can't even... Bro, I'm here. Do you like mini golf? I love mini golf. Are you going to beat me? <laughs> Look at him learning already, bro. I like you a lot. Thank you. I like you too. <laughs> Dude, he's... I love this guy so much. Hey, you look amazing. So do you. Thank you. Do you want to play? Yes, oh please. my god. I... Honest to God, this dude can talk to people, bro. He hit him with the little flirtatious comment, complimented her before I mean, and now he's already moving the conversation to the De take notes, chat. Okay, let's die. I literally cannot, dude. I cannot. Thank you. Do you want to die first? Yeah, why not? She also okay. she this girl has no chill. God bless her. It's the third thing out of her mouth. I like you. No, at, she she got my negative riz, but he's he's carrying. Wow. No hey, way. Wonder. No way. You're bro. winning. No way. What is your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food is fish and chips. Oh, and I gonna bring him up. I love fish and chips too. Hello, King Kong. <laughs> Two. Nice. Wow. Okay, damn. She's oh, actually really good one. at this. Hold it one again. What I the am fuck? very good at this game. Ooh. Oh, hey. Come on, bull. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the ball is not your friend. Five. Nice. You looked really beautiful today. Thank you. She's amazing. She's hardworking. She's passionate. Ooh, looks like we're doing on the ship. <laughs> Titanic. I like him. This is insane. He's funny and cute. I want to go on a date with this guy. I know. Oh. I was sitting here thinking, like, there's probably some ladies in chat who are like, man, why can't my boyfriend be like that? He's, he's doing it. Ooh. Wow. Oh, not oh, the, oh that is a oh, big oh, asshole. Oh, the oh. fuck? Small Who meteor strike. It? Oh, that's it. That's it. curtains. Yeah. Can you wait? First date on your knees. Come Do on, man. Help? Oh, got it. Thank you. Look at that. She's not afraid right, to get dirty. Okay, got that out for him. Get anything for daddy. Oh my weird. god! He has that job interview, Riz. Quite 
working. Let me get that for you. Thank you. We should hold this Strong. Riz in high regard. Master class. Rolling As a straight white line. male, I want my Sneak boyfriend to be like him, too. Ball. Can you see it? It's not in this bush. Don't get stuck. I will say, it's kind of... Man's got master Riz. Cause he, he making her get the ball every time. <laughs> Normally, first date, you know, the dude, at least in my experience, I'm, ru I'm running around spinning plates trying to not come off even slightly in play. Hits ball out. No, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. He's like... Can you set? Can you tee it up for me when you grab it? Thank you. And be care. Be careful. The bu I don't want the bushes to damage the ball. It'll it'll affect my shot. Thank you. I'm not going to. Got it. I think she Ooh, won the in hand. this competition. She is strong, a challenging. Rose making me feel good about myself. She's just amazing human being I have ever met in my entire life. Whew. Oh so my god. Let's do some ice cream, it. Hey? Ice cream, ice cream. No fish and chips? Thank you. That looks delicious. I think she is the one. Where do you want to eat your lovely ice cream? How about over there with umbrella? OK. She is so funny. She's hilarious. She is mwah. Al dente. Cheers. She likes I slightly undercooked pasta? What does that mean? Me and who chat? I really like him a lot. Really good. I'm very excited and happy about it. My favorite comedy guys is really funny guys. Same. My favorite one is Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's so hilarious. Real. Exciting. Real. Honestly, they've got the same interests, same interest in hot chips. Where have you been? <laughs> So, yes, I think they've had a great time. They look really comfortable together. So, yeah, like, yay, successful. See ya. Have a wonderful day. Yep, you too. Oh. Would you like to do this again? Yeah. Are you on social media? Oh, my God. Man's... No. Okay, dude is faking it. Man's secured everything. He hit everything. Everything right. I am on Facebook. Cool. Ow. Ow. He got the... Carlos's big day has arrived, and he's full of positive Carlos, that's going to be a tough act to follow. Quite excited to finally... Tough act to follow, Carlos. For his date, Carlos has chosen his favorite shirt. He's keen to make a good first impression. He looks good. I will not good. No, leave a reaction on her face. That is the biggest fear. The biggest fear is that you don't know how she's going to react to you. No. I got the how many sprays? Of the that. So let's see. Wow. Ooh, and he snuck another one in there, my brother. I'm at, I'm at a two max, and it's one neck, one wrist. Uh, max. Listen, I, I want you to see me coming, not smell me coming. That was Carlos. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to fall in love with this person, but. Having a friend to talk about anything and everything, that is the most important. Do you think you're going to have a good time? Oh, not, the, not the, the orange. Not the orange coat. A woman, it's always going to be fun. I don't know how I'm feeling about that orange coat, bro. Well, that looks lovely, dear. Yeah. That's really nice. Here, come here Who and I'll this? try. Who is this? Who is this? Who the fuck is this? Oh, wait, we're getting introduced to them. I'm so stupid. I'm dumb. Carlos's date, Eleanor, has flown down from Auckland with her mum, Francesca. <laughs> but it goes beautifully with yeah. that top. There. How's that? Yeah. So, are you feeling nervous? Uh, yeah, feeling a bit nervous. Yeah. A bit excited. Well, so that's I'm, natural. Yeah, I have no idea who I'm meeting or what's going to be happening. Eleanor works as a part-time model and has a special interest in medieval history and costumes. Tell me why I could tell that from looking at her. You know what I mean? That and not even I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying I, I I feel like that's perfect. I would cast her in a movie to play herself. You feel Seeing me? Seeing you in that outfit you smell with me? that uh, necklace, you look a bit like a Tudor queen yes. getting ready for one of the court ceremonials. <laughs> don't she you? got that 1443 yes. drip. She yes. got that 1443 face, bro. 
And I don't mean that in a bad way. Just, it's just mental dyspraxia. You know what I mean? So it means that she can't do some of the things that uh, somebody her age might normally do. Uh, things like driving, riding a bike. Sometimes Overrated. the young men she's dated haven't understood the impact of her disability. So she's had her ups and downs. Very curious to see how today's going to turn out. Yeah, uh, very, very excited to meet the guy, of course. Yeah. I'm going to be a gog to hear all the details mm. once we get back. Yep, OK, done. Does she have a unibrow with peace and love? I'm just wondering. Carlos is meeting Elena at Larnock Castle, a suitably romantic spot for a medieval queen to meet her prince. Carlos not only went with the jacket, but he threw on the shades. What is what is this that you guys are spamming in my chat? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm I'm Eleanor. I'm Carlos. Hi, nice to meet you, Carlos. Yeah, dude, he let the accent come through. I'm Carlos. Carlos. Hello. You too? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, the easy emote looks to uh, literally yeah. Carlos right now. For me, it would be an honor to have some tea with you. Ooh. Yes, I'd, I'd like that very much. Yes. <laughs> He's got the tea in his bag. After you. You ever try to push into the chair for a lovely lady on a date and the bitch ain't moving? Oh my God. I feel like some people maybe don't realize you gotta move with the chair. <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> All right, push, it, push it in yourself. I feel like it, it's just like the, the polite thing for a gentleman to do is to push the chair in. I don't know what's being taught in the ladies sleepovers, right? <laughs> you gotta get a running start, but the ladies, you gotta with us. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you're doing the whole work, and we're just there to look good. But yeah, we don't push, we guide. Exactly. Oh, this is so awkward. Oh, but it's so real. I like your necklace. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, she's so nervous. Oh my god. Me, I ask. Who gave it to you? Uh, I bought it myself. Ah. I, I love Tudor history, and it's a replica of one of the necklaces from the show, the Tudors. That's cool. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Carlos, you're fumbling. Mm. So what do you do, Carlos? I am a photographer. Oh, wow. That's really cool. How about you? Um, well, I, my main um, interest is in acting and um, costuming. Um, yeah, and I've, I've also traveled quite a bit around um, Europe. Mm. Been to um, Paris and Italy. Yeah. God, my legs are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. It's not Carlos's fault. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just uncomfortable. She is an adventurous, intelligent woman. I actually have a very good bond with her. Having gauged Elena's interest in history, Carlos is keen to take her on a tour around the castle. Good, good job. Nice. The hand holding is crazy on the first date. I so think he's it's like holding awesome. hands with a stranger. Yeah, he's really nice. Um, yeah, we actually have quite a bit in common. It's, it's just a really sweet person. Uh-oh, friend zone. Very oh, artistic. No. Bro tied his jacket around his waist. It's over, bro. That's the that's that's Ick City, dude. Oh man. Yes, yes, it is. So what do you like about the me? Castle. Wow, wow, we want dear one. Ah, I like you a lot. <laughs> me too. Thank you. Yeah, I think you're wrong. Um, your beauty captivates me. Mm. Damn! Yes. Yeah, I enjoy being with you too. <coughs> <laughs> She's beautiful from the inside and from the outside. Do you mind if I take a picture of you? No, I don't mind Whoa. at all. Oh. 
Okay, bro, really? With the telescopic le Oh my god. I love his creativity, which is generally the sort of personality I tend to gravitate towards anyway. <gasps> oh, this is crazy, bro. Can you look that side? You would look much better with your shirt off. There yes. you go. Is there a bit of a spark between you? Uh, I'd say there is, yeah. You're right, quite immortal. <laughs> She's Damn. one of our kind. Oh, wow, those are really good. Those are, those, those are certainly photos. You know that with her, I'm going to have a wonderful life together. He's going through. They're all just black because the lens cap was on. He's like, look at this. Look at the way you look here. Wow, it's really that's good, gorgeous. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Boyfriend material? Possibly. Oh. <laughs> Damn. 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 I think that's to put it in, in my life. With everything okay, going yeah, so breathe, well, dude. Carlos invites Eleanor to take a walk around the castle's majestic landscape gardens. You know what? what I, okay, think? this might be a stupid question, and 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 there's no. I wonder hidden... if Carlos has taken any dick pics with that camera. Okay, why did I humor that? Like you were gonna say something so sweet. Um. What I actually wonder with, how do I even ask my real question now? I would like to know if there is, even if this stat even exists, I don't know. What is like the average length of a, of a relationship between two people who have some sort of, spe like, I don't know how to word this, spe like developmental, like them. You know, what is, why are people measuring in inches? I'm asking a time frame. Like not like not like you and your autistic girlfriend. No, nobody cares about that. I'm saying like people who have like like these people and someone who would be on a show like this. What is like an app? Why is everyone saying inches? Jay Holt, thank you for the five subs. About the view. Wow, the view is amazing. I'm just curious. Why are you? Everyone's putting measurements in length. Yeah. We want to hear a little secret. Uh, yeah, sure. I have many plans in the future. Uh-huh. And I would like you to be in my plans. Uh, I'd like to be a part of your plans, too. My beautiful Whoa. lady. <laughs> They're going to last at least seven inches. <laughs> oh, my God. Both those days went change of heart really well. has left Josh reflecting on love and <gasps> what the future might hold. Oh no, Josh got told. So, how do you think your date went with? Oh Lily? no. Oh, good. Oh, we no. have nice dance. It was so fun. Oh, you had a dance with her? Yeah. Nice. I love having a dance with oh, her. He doesn't Did you know enjoy you. that one? Yeah. Cool. So, do you think it would work with her? No, I live far, far away. Oh. That's hard, isn't it, when they live a bit far away? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. There's plenty more fish in the sea. Oh. Oh, yeah. And. Oh. Oh. There'll be somebody out there for you, hey? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure you're going to find a lovely oh. girlfriend that maybe lives a little bit closer for you. Yeah. Oh, boy. Fuck her. Have a damn me Who needs her? That's what mums are here for, darling. In Dunedin, Carlos is also passing news about Eleanor to his parents. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Good yep. news. Right. So who did you meet? Eleanor, but with a strange sort of name, because it's a meet evil. How was she? In one word, interesting. Good. So nice girl. Yep. Good. What does she do? She likes to read. She likes to listen to music. She likes, she likes to dance. That's nice. I'm, I'm on to the dad. The dad, <clears throat> the dad's giving me like former uh, 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 boss, uh, mob boss vibes. And the size of the house, dad's on, dad's got got some shit in his closet. Let's be real. Carlos. Hey, do you think she likes you? She does. Well, good. Hmm? All good. This house is insane. With a second date very much on and the cards, the Carlos Bro. couldn't be happier. Not unlike Braden, who's positively ecstatic about his second date. Yes! I'm thinking of all things. Give this us morning. a show with Lisa's only Braden. Lisa's chosen a pottery date so she and Braden can get creative. It's gonna be a great day. 
Hopefully, the second day will be more successful than the first. Hi, Biden. Hi, Rachel. How are ya? Pretty good. Bro, dude, amazing. I want anyone to greet me that way. When I go live, can you guys greet me like that in chat? Please. Sorry. Thank you. No. Okay. Are you ready to make some play today? Then yeah. you for a kiss. Are you excited? Yes. I am. Awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. There you go. Bro is so Thank extra. You. Hi, Wobby. Let's get started. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Come on in. Dude, we are I love going that. to do what's called throwing on the wheel today. Okay. It'll be fun. And you're just going to squeeze the water over the clay like that. Okay. okay. It looks like in a towel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is the tricky part. This is where you have to be like a T-Rex. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and keep squeezing as you travel all the way oh, to the top. Are you No. <laughs> and whatever you can make today is good. So if you make a cup, that's great. And if it turns into a bowl, that's great as well. I don't... Yeah. I, this is pottery so Pottery cool. is so difficult. I hate, I hate the way dried pottery feels. Oh my god, it makes my nipples hard in the in the worst way. I hate it so much. Dr all that see all that dried pottery on the back there? Eh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It's oh, a piece it makes of my art now. So hard. Like you stop. We call that abstract art. Do you want me to try and fix it for you? Yes, please. Okay, we stop. It's almost centered. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All the way to the top. You gotta it's glaze really, the whole thing. Really fun. But then even like the ring on the slime. bottom I hate. I am loving this. No, that's it. Make a little vase or maybe a flower pot from my mum. Yeah, I see it. She is so professional at clay making. How can she do it that so good? Thank you, sink. What? What's next? Bro, just thank <sighs> the sink. You're just like baking the cake. <laughs> yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. He makes me happy and smile because I can feel the happiness inside me. She is a living legend right now. Every time I see her, she always puts smiles on my face. Have you got any pets? I got one cat and a noisy bird. Real, see? Nice. I've got one cat called Mitten. Oh, I love that name. Thank you. My cat is name is Trixie. Trixie, that's yep. a nice name. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for you. Oh, that looks really good. Yours looks wonderful. Just like... It's perfection. Just like yours. Thank you. Oh. I oh. should buy it for $1,000. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. Thank you for coming today with us. It's been really fun. Thank you. Yeah. Please you want me to do pottery on stream? She is top perfection. I can do a pottery class on stream. I yeah, she's al dente as so fuck, bro. Maybe we can do it next week. I don't know. Best. We'll look. It looks Could be fun. A little IRL pottery. Today. You look amazing. Thank you. What is your favorite part today? I do love the clay part. The but clay making. That was yeah. the entire thing. My favorite part is hanging out with you. Yeah, it's been really fun hanging out. Dad pottery? Yeah. No, we're doing cooking with it. him Sunday. Hanging out is so much fun. It is. I love it even more. I like it when you're here. Seriously, I love it when you're here. It's so amazing. You make me smile. You make me happy. <gasps> Thank oh. you so much. It's literally like it's like bad dialogue. I love it. It's so cute. There's just, it's just this is how I'm feeling. This is how I'm feeling. Welcome. This feels reenacted. My brother, I think they're just. You know, I think the brains work differently, my man. You all love hugs. Same. Oh. Determined to make sure everything goes perfectly on his next date with Eleanor, Carlos has come to meet Dave Hicks, who's skilled at asking oh, just the right guy. questions. Oh, this fucking guy. Now it's the, it... okay. Here's the big moment, chat. Does this guy's voice still sound like shit? If you remember last time, every three words his voice cracked, and then people were like, maybe he's got like a thing. Here we go. It comes to relationships. Excellent. So, I understand you already had one date. One. He's cared, so we can make fun of him. Date. 
It was just magical. What did you think when you first saw her? She is beautiful. Yeah, he was Both sick. inside and out. Did you say that to her? With our eyes, we, we said that. So have you got any plan for the second date? What, have you got any, any game plan? I do also write poetry. <laughs> you are full of surprises, Carlos. Thank you. Are these poems that you've written about her? Oh, no. Yes. Oh, wow. No. Yes. So this is, would you say it's um, poems about love? Oh, yeah. No. Wow. You can say what the heart doesn't able to say. Yeah, uh, it's powerful. Okay, that's it's too powerful. much. It goes beyond the words. <laughs> what if he was you like, know, it's the feeling I want to fucking words, just correct? get up in her yes. guts. What do you think? That's Josh, dude. If Josh could be more descriptive with his feelings, that's what Josh would be saying. Good boyfriend is taking care of each other. Yeah, looking out for each other. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, you like her? Yeah, I and do. She likes you. Yep. Friendship's there. Mm. The moment's coming, the first kiss. Stop. What's gonna happen? Don't we put it in his head. are looking forward to our first kiss. Mm. Eyes open or closed when you kiss? Closed, no, motherfucker. When somebody is kissing you, it is also kissing your soul. When you kiss, you have to be with your eyes closed. Real. Let our lips just do it. Real. Carlos, you're a beautiful man. I think this woman is very lucky because I don't think people think like that very often. You're a romantic. You're a poet. You're an artist. Cool, man. Excellent. He is very, like, poetic. Keen to share their love of hot chips, Liesl and Braden are meeting for a third date yes! at a beach near Liesl's home. Yes! Two, three dates! Wonderful day, right? Yeah, it is. Oh my God, they're they're gonna get married. I heard you go to Tim Bowling. Yeah, I do do Tim and Bowling. She was Did on the you beach. win? Powerful. Yeah, I've got lots of scores. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, do you want to sit down first? Oh, I love the comfy. Oh, so cozy. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Hallelujah. Hey, look at that. You <laughs> got there. Let's do it. Can't hear you, big boy. OK, I'll go the plates. Perfect. Damn, even they're using reusable plates. Are those are those disposable? I don't actually know. See, what is this now? Is this, is this, where do you guys put these? Oh, he goes to the chip on the ground. On the, Silly on chips. <laughs> oh, those fries look so good, though. I could see the Jeez. salt molecules Jeez. on them. Let's munch. Yeah, no there's much match. No dip? No no tartar? Okay, that's crazy. What's your favorite date? My favorite date is today. The ocean, the water, you and your pretty face, and this lovely food. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Go away, you nasty. Not you, the fly. And also, don't get the seagulls. Yeah. We are the lovebirds. Yeah, we are the lovebirds. High five. She looks beautiful, just like the ocean. I cannot live without you. And you just so beautiful, just like a flower. And I don't want to lose you. That's nice, Brayden. You are so cute. And you are so handsome and wonderful person. Thank you. We are damn happy. Actually, we are that happy, happy as a couple. True, yeah. It could be time for the big invite. What's the big invite? Welcome back to my place. Oh, for the hot tub! The hot tub! Some the hot rolls. tub! This is your idea. She even included the sausage roll thing. You can read my mind. Yeah! She said hot tub local. and sausage rolls, bro. Uh, that is you. <laughs> Armed with poems and jittery legs, Carlos has one more stop to make before meeting Eleanor. Hi. I'm here for a special occasion. I met this girl who uh, today is my second date. She's kind of this medieval kind of style. Okay. Who is she? She looks like a like an like a regal elf, doesn't she? This little shop owner. Her, That's a plant um, right there. That's a model. Hundred percent. Favorite colors are green. Okay. And she's purple. gonna point. She's gonna point like this. Are you looking for like a? 
Some, uh, some, what is it called? Some light lily lilac over this way. We do and have some, some beautiful purple delphiniums oh, I here. love those ones. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to float over to it. Perhaps some red roses for a bit of romance. High elf that. NPC, <laughs> exactly, bro. I have some butterflies on my stomach right now. <laughs> and of course, that's normal. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's going to be a big surprise. I will make her afternoon memorable. Here we go. All yours. Thank you. I think she will <laughs> love it. The little flower shop. It really is At what Liesl's it is. Home, huh? Romance is most definitely in the air. Oh my God, it's And potentially tokens. in the water too. I'm thinking we're going to have a spa soon. That's it, yeah. bro. He's in. Look at that. That's it. Yeah, then we're going to snuggle in the spa. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so romantic. It will be. Gosh, it's great that the spa day is actually happening now. Ray was really excited when Lisa invited him. He was God up really damn. early and he had his bag packed with his togs. And There's the sausage rolls. She's getting the sausage rolls. Oh, last God. night and yeah he's he's really excited i'm gonna make them some sausage rolls i've been ordered it's the ideal date i know sausage rolls and spa i know oh yeah let's go okay. in the spa and snuggle in the spa oh yeah oh man i got a question for you oh. i love the shirt the shirt in the private hot tub is it goes thinking hard. hard on it for a couple of days i'm not sure you'll be okay with this Will you be my girlfriend, Weaver? Yes, I can. <gasps> oh my god! We have seen two seasons of this fucking show, and I think this is the first kiss! I gotta hold on, hold on. Will you be my girlfriend, Weaver? Yes, I can. I had my very first kiss with my boyfriend. You're my handsome friend. And it was a pretty good It was amazing. Good. I loved him. He's a perfect gentleman. Oh. Here I am, I'm taken. And I love it. The tip of the day. Twitchy Jewel has a princess. It's just like a fairy tale. If I believe in true love. Do you believe in true love? I believe in true love as well. We deserve each other, don't we? Yes, we are. First oh kiss my for Lisa. God! We probably first kiss for Brady. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen. I don't. This is a new for my brain. I'm witnessing things my brain has never seen before, dude. I really am. I don't know how to say it without being blunt. I've never seen two people with Down syndrome kiss. I'm buzzing about that because it's pretty big. Yeah. Dude, it's like it all goes away. I swear to God, they're just, it's so, there's, it's, they're, I, I, it looks. <sighs> I don't know how to describe this without being so offensive, but everyone knows what I'm talking about. I'm super, super happy. I never, never don't cheat. Having officially asked Liesl to be his girlfriend, it's time to share the good news. So I had a first consent of There's no way he wasn't fucking unbelievably bricked up under that water, bro. When I was having my first kisses in high school, there was not even like it's it, you don't even know what's what, bro. Did you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter and me. I just did that. Yeah. You cannot it's stop us. Good. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Because they were a really good reaction from my father. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, bro, this shit's crazy. Next time. He, why he mean mugging the dad? Like, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm digging her down. All the way down. Waiting for the for a beautiful girl. Carlos lays his heart on the line. Tonight, I want to kiss you. No, don't don't read the poem from your phone and show her the script as you're reading it, bro. What are you doing, Carlos? Your lips is where I belong. <laughs> uh, oh God, another couple. A lucky strike bowls one man over. I'm gonna ask him now. Let's make <clears throat> it official, yeah? And an emotional confession. I want to ask you a personal question. I know this is a shock to you. Are you crying? No. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if you know, 
I have Down syndrome. And he's like, I, I don't think I can do Bro's got a crazy chain on, dude. <laughs> she, she, her. Okay, we can, Senor, I give you permission to ban this guy after I read this message. She, her, your massive retard erection. Yeah, we, okay, you, you, you may pull the trigger now. Uh, that one's going to be fun. If we ever do a ban appeal on that guy, that's going to be fun to see the chat history and remember this moment right here. I wonder what it was. What's the secret? I am made in consultation with New Zealand Down syndrome. Okay, see, that's cool that they have, like, people on, like... Like, people on set. <laughs> like a Like a handler. All right, guys. Very exciting. This, oh, there's the dude with his balls hanging from his balls on the subreddit. All right, everybody. Um, this uh, this Sunday, cook off with my dad or a bake off. It could be desserts. It could be more food. I don't know what it's going to be. But I'm very excited for it this Sunday. And then the 10th media share and the 15th is going to be P.O. Box. Also, we... It's it's a new month, so we got cringy drink at some point. High love you lose. We need to we actually need to schedule it out. We haven't done it yet. All right, everybody. Um, I'll see you on Sunday. Have a nice night. No CS. No. I'll give you my Oppenheimer review too with my dad.